NBA Youngboy is a rapper of many beefs, some of them even turned deadly. His list of enemies is very extensive, and over the years, the list just keeps getting longer and longer. So today, we take a deep look into the enemies of NBA Youngboy. Before we get started, I just want to give a disclaimer that everything you hear about in this video is all alleged information that I've gathered through research on the internet. I'm not accusing anyone of doing anything illegal. This is all public information. NBA young boy born Kentrell Deshaun Golden resided in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where he started his rap career when he began recording music from a microphone he bought at Walmart at the age of 14. Around this time, young boy and his older brother Three formed the group known as Never Broke Again, and on January 25th, 2015, Youngboy dropped the track called NBA. He dropped his first mixtape on April 10th, 2015 called Life Before Fame. This mixtape was released under TBG, which is short for Top Boy Gorilla, which is a rap label in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where Youngboy is from. A day after Youngboy dropped Life Before Fame, on April 11th, 2015, Boulevard Mel, Fredo Bang, G Money, and YMM Captain dropped the music video for their song iPhone 6, in which Youngboy appeared in the video. During this time, TBG was beefing with BBG, otherwise known as Bottom Boy Gorilla, which was another Louisiana rap group, but this beef didn't necessarily start on wax, it was more of a street beef, which you're gonna see a lot of in this video. NBA Youngboy's cousin Boozilla was a part of the group BBG. Boozilla was known for running into houses, breaking into cars, and robbing drug dealers, so as you could tell, he was a gangster in the Baton Rouge streets, and he actually mentored Youngboy growing up. The beef between BBG and TBG all began when Boozilla allegedly robbed TBG member G Money. Youngboy would eventually split as problems arose about his cousin BBG Boozilla robbing TBG G Money. And Youngboy also felt he wasn't getting the spotlight he deserved. After that, Youngboy would leave TBG and stick to repping NBA as he was early on in his career. So later on in 2015, Youngboy began dropping music under the NBA imprint. On October 31st, 2015, NBA Youngboy dropped the intro to his mixtape Mind of a Menace, which was set to drop in December. On this track, Youngboy actually threw shots at TBG when he said that TBG got jealous and envious when he gained traction after dropping Life Before Fame, and on the outro to the track, Youngboy suggests that he's his own boss and not under anyone, which is a shot at TBG. A couple months later, Youngboy dropped Mind of a Menace 2 on April 1st, 2016, and on the intro, he once again threw shots at TBG, saying that they don't live up to what they talk about. I started with some Around this time, it was rumored that G Money was allegedly hooking up with NBA Youngboy's sister. Youngboy got wind of this, so on June 27th, 2016, NBA Youngboy dropped his mixtape Before I Go. And on the track Change, he speaks on G Money allegedly hooking up with his sister. And later on in the song, he directly name drops TBG. He won't speak on my sister, young boy, not TBG, NBA, it's so well living. On July 14th, 2016, Boozilla dropped the track called Forgive Me, which he dissed TBG member Dusa, saying that he's scared walking through the south side of Baton Rouge. Oh Dusa be scared walking through the south. A couple months later, on November 2nd, 2016, Boozilla was shot and killed, and it's speculated that this was linked to Boozilla dissing TBG affiliate Dusa on his song Forgive Me. Just a couple hours after Boozilla was shot, Youngboy and his crew hopped in a car and did a drive-by shooting on the house of the people they believe did the murder on YB's cousin Boozilla. According to paperwork, just 24 hours after that took place, another shooting took place on the same block that Boozilla was killed on, leaving two houses riddled in bullets, but no one was injured in the process. On November 28th, 2016, Youngboy was arrested before a concert in Austin, Texas, where he would be charged with two counts of attempted murder, which stems from the alleged drive-by shooting, which saw a young boy opening fire on a group of people in South Baton Rouge. Young boy pled guilty on May 22nd, 2017, as he confessed to firing a gun multiple times during a drive-by shooting, which occurred on November 2nd, 2016. A couple months later, G Money would appear on Say Cheese for an interview where he would diss Young Boy, saying that YB is mad that he hooked up with his sister. This led to a back and forth on Instagram. Not really. He mad. He mad about his sister too, though. 
about his sister. Yeah, I had fucked her a long time ago. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he mean, married about that. He was he wasn't really tripping on it back then, though. You know what I'm saying? He be calling me Big Brother and shit. You hear me? I guess he just let that fame and shit get to his head. Now he feel like he just this new nigga, whoever he supposed to be, whoever he called himself. I'm living like I'm already rich and I ain't even rich yet. And I'm living with the white folks. <laughs> What's wrong with these man? The shit you niggas do don't impress me, man. You hear me? I know real money, man. Don't impress me, man. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? Copycat, nigga. You the next the shit you see me do, you wanna do, but you supposed to be up, though. Hey, nigga, what you on? What you on? Like me or something like fuck that a rap shit? What you on? I'm saying, like, what you, what you got some against me, bitch? Say that damn, man. I'm, 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 I don't be on Instagram with that shit, nigga. We in two different states. You know the real. Stop playing. <laughs> what you say? Hot huh? nigga. I'm about beef. And what is real, bitch? Hey man, you don't know, wanna fuck with you, nigga. Get it. Fuck around with you, man. I, I, I don't like you. I'm gonna keep on it. I don't like you. Talking about you don't like a nigga this and that. Nigga, fuck you. Ain't no for you to like, you hear me? You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you just copping off a nigga. Bitch, I, I pull up in that wagon, you gonna take a picture by a T wagon. Boy, you really my son. Stop watching me, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Get off a of nigga. Just a couple weeks later, on August 27th, 2017, G Money dropped the track called Industry. And on this track, he takes shots at Youngboy, questioning his street credibility. Had me looking for your cousin, he wanted to kill you. I put a third up under my pill. The sister swallowed, so I never kissed her. But I fuck with her, so I never dissed her. It's speculated that Youngboy's agent, Big Dump, actually put $100,000 on G Money's head. But of course, this is just speculation. Baton Rouge police are looking into a deadly shooting that claimed the life of a local rapper. Police say someone shot and killed 22-year-old Garrett Burton on Dallas Street around 1.20 last night. Burton performed under the, under the name G Money. Right now, police have not named any suspects or motives. About a week after dropping his diss track on Youngboy, G Money was shot and killed outside of a recording studio on Dallas Drive in Baton Rouge around 1.30 a.m. Eventually in 2021, Youngboy affiliate NBA Lil Pat was arrested for the murder of G Money and charged with second degree murder. NBA Lil Pap was sentenced to five years in prison after taking a plea deal in which if he didn't take the plea deal, he would be spending his life behind bars. But as I said before, it's all speculation that he is even guilty of the crime because Fredo Bang has come out and said that NBA Lil Pap actually didn't do the murder. Matter of fact, I used to call you my big brother. Then you did some fire shit and had sex to my sister. This is where Fredo Bang and Boulevard Quick would inherit Youngboy's past beef with G Money after Fredo Bang was released from prison. This is where this beef would get even more dangerous. On May 7th, 2018, NBA Youngboy's agent Big Dump was chatting with family and friends when someone pulled up in a vehicle and fired several shots killing Big Dump in the process. Boulevard Quick allegedly beat up Youngboy's older brother 3. After that, Boulevard Quick and Fredo Bang took to wax to diss Youngboy and the entire NBA clique. Don't ask the questions about the ops, I'm not into that. For real? Kill my dog, can't wait to go and get him back. I put your partner on the tee with you. Why you did that? It was in the name of G, nigga. After this, Youngboy's mom would get involved when she went on Instagram Live to say this about Fredo Bang and Boulevard Quick. <laughs> Fredo Bang and F Boulevard Slow. <laughs> Boulevard Quick would then go on IG Live and respond when he had this to say about NBA Youngboy's mom. Me, you look like a man, though. You look like a punk. Talking about fuck me, bitch. I ain't afraid of bitch. I speaks on everything. Boy, fuck that nigga mama. Play with me first. Fuck that hoe. Turn it up. Man, bitch, you so. How many bitch they chopped off a body? You had a Santa when you got mad. This music video shows Ashton Wells performing under his stage name, Boulevard Quick. Baton Rouge police say the local rapper was shot and killed at his home at Lakeside Villa Apartments on Wellwood Drive after midnight. Fuck my mama. I ain't see that nigga. 
After that, just three weeks later, Boulevard Quick was shot and killed near his home in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. After his death, the Baton Rouge police suggested that Boulevard Quick was targeted for his affiliation with G-Money. Rumors started making the rounds that the man who allegedly did the hit was a close friend of young boy named Duty Black, in which he was shot and killed a little after this. And on the day that Duty Black was killed, Fredo Bang posted a photo of Boulevard Quick to his IG story. On May 13th, 2019, Youngboy was set to perform at Rolling Loud Miami. When he was on his way to the show, him and his entourage were driving in a black Cadillac Escalade when somebody shot at the vehicle when they struck Youngboy's then-girlfriend Kay Marie and the driver was actually killed in the process. The next year, in 2020, two more shootings occurred between TBG and NBA, one on April 29, 2020, and the other on July 4th, 2020. Five days after that, on July 9th, 2020, a TBG affiliate by the name of Lit Yoshi was arrested and was facing several attempted murder charges. Lit Yoshi is allegedly connected to the killing of Youngboy's former agent Big Dump in 2018, the shooting that took place in Miami in 2019 where he was seemingly trying to take out NBA Youngboy and the two shootings in 2020. So as you could tell, this TBG versus NBA beef was getting really deadly. On July 26, 2021, Lit Yoshi was sentenced to 15 years in prison with hard labor and three years of active supervised parole after pleading guilty to two separate charges aggravated assault with a firearm for the 2019 Miami shooting, and attempted first-degree murder and assault drive-by shooting on July 4th, 2020. But in September 2020, Young Boy and Fredo Bang were dropping albums on the same day, in which Fredo took to IG and said, Guess me and my son dropping together. Young Boy would respond to this on Instagram when he had this to say to Fredo Bang, which led to a back and forth. Hey, hey, you a bum, you ass nigga go dig all three of your brothers up with your scary ass you a stop running from me i ain't in no competition with you stop writing me you a nigga you ain't no killer you won't be like me you write me all day you a yeah i could double back hey i could any bitch nigga gonna try to double back and fuck the bitch i could fuck your mama you gonna try to fuck your mama you a bitch you a pure bitch hey somebody go help little brother out bro he angry dog he angry Talking about dead pot and shit. It ain't like I'm on this bitch talking about fat boy in that extra, extra large coffin he got. You hear me? Or, or, or Professor X, how y'all gotta push his hair around. I don't, I'm not on this bitch talking about that. All I said, I was gonna sell more albums. You drop it, it's how my fucking drop. You know what I'm saying? Then you, then you mad about a bitch. It ain't my fault all your bitches be in my DM. We shared two hoes, now, now all of a sudden I'm just fucking everything. You Stop playing, man. You know what the f on. NBA young boy and Fredo Bang would seemingly squash the beef entirely when it was announced that they got on the phone to come together to stop the violence and put together a charity event. Fast forward to May 2023, young boy was gearing up to drop his project, Richest Op. He took to Instagram Live to preview a track called Bitch Let's Do It. And on the track, he dissed G Money when he referenced how they laid his head on a pillow when he was shot. <laughs> Fredo Bang took to Twitter to write a message to Youngboy saying, Watch your mouth. After this, YB dropped the official video to the track, and during the video, Youngboy could be seen laying on a pillow, mocking the death of G Money. It seems as if the news was fake and that this beef was never squashed, and I don't think this beef ever will be squashed due to lives being lost on both sides. In 2017, NBA Youngboy would become friends with a Chicago rapper by the name of Lil Durk. They even dropped a song together. Durk would also give praise to NBA Youngboy on the No Jumper podcast, saying that he's in his top five. It's crazy. That's somebody you're a huge fan of right now? Uh, Youngboy? Yeah. Yeah, I fuck with him. He got that soul, that passion in his voice, I fuck huh? fuck with him. Like, 100%. Like, hard, hard. For sure, like, yeah. He's one of my, he, he my top five, for sure. Lil Durk and Youngboy had no issues with each other at first. It actually all started with King Von, who had issues with Youngboy at first. There's two rumors as to how this beef actually started. The first is that Von inherited the beef from YNW Melly, because in August of 2018, Youngboy's crew and Melly's crew got into a fight outside of a recording studio. So Von, being close friends with Melly, 
decided to go at young boy the second reason that they were beefing is that they were close to each other's ex-girlfriends this beef officially kicked off in march of 2019 king von was on instagram live bumping young boy's latest project when he would say that young boy is not as gangsta as he's portraying on his songs and that he has cap in his raps young boy talking about on this song bro what you talking crazy on this man oh uh, yeah he ain't even like that oh on his ass now on his ass cap you got cap in your raps go straight boss don't hit the white lady you got cap in your hey. raps Vaughn would later claim that this was all just a joke and that he's cool with YB. A month later, King Vaughn and Quando Ronda would link up when he took to Twitter to post a video of them chilling. A couple weeks later, in April, King Vaughn went on IG Live once again, but this time he had this to say about NBA Youngboy. YB a straight bitch when I catch him is that. <laughs> Someone from Youngboy's camp named NBA KD would respond to Vaughn's remarks at YB on IG Live. Ain't no nigga this money brother, you hear me? Not big AI, you hear me? Shit, no, you hear me? Ah, oh, man, f that. You hear me? <laughs> Ouch, you hear me? Ain't no after that it seems as if everything was solid between both camps but the beef would ignite in august of 2020 King Vod was seen with young boy's baby mama, Jania, which sparked beef rumors where King Vaughn would address this in a tweet saying, where I'm from, we don't beef over our That just ain't one of my goals. Jania took to IG Live to clear the rumors of them allegedly dating and says that it's just all business between her and Vaughn. Um, like I said, I don't with no nigga. I've been working. We have a song coming out. Y'all wasn't supposed to know, but... It is what it is now. We have a song coming out. So when the song come out, y'all go with it. Just know it's hard as fuck. You feel me? We with this shit. Get rich, period. And that's on period. That's on period. I'm working straight forward all 2020. Then told y'all this shit. Vaughn's girlfriend, Asian Doll, took to IG Live when she said that they did more than just make music. And they were actually hooking up. During this time, a beef broke out between Lil Reese and Quando Rondo when Reese tweeted, I ain't gonna lie, when I catch Quando Rondo again, I wanna see what all that tough shit about. To which Quando Rondo would respond on Instagram. Man, that nigga ain't gonna do nothing to me. Nigga don't need no academics. Man, you don't deserve to live no more, bit, bro. I hope you die on God. <laughs> Dudes, my dudes, I need you to whip some of that voodoo up. Let's go. For real. I need you to fucking life up, my right, dude. Let's go tomorrow. For, for tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, tomorrow. Man, I'm about to go stop by the woo lady. The very next day after Vaughn was seen with Jania on August 16th, 2020, Youngboy took to Instagram to post a photo of him with a whole lot of money and his son with the caption, I'm gonna make sure that my son f your daughter since he trolling. Bitch. Hashtag 4K Trey. Hashtag. Bitch. That same day, Young Boy was in the studio where he would record a song called Dead Trolls, which saw YB allegedly send subliminal shots at King Vaughn, which ties into what Vaughn has been saying all along that he's just trolling YB. That day, Young Boy took to IG Live to preview the track while flashing guns, but before the track started playing, he said he isn't squashing any beef. This track was eventually leaked. You ain't squashing shit. 
You shouldn't have came with him. Believe that. Vaughn put out a tweet later that day telling YB to relax. It's just the internet, which led to King Vaughn going on IG Live two days later, threatening to smack all of Youngboy's affiliates. No one is ain't no talking about it, ain't no kidding. Niggas know I'm smacking shit, I do not see them. On September 11, 2020, NBA Youngboy dropped his second studio album, Top, which saw the official release of his alleged diss to King Vaughn called Dead Trolls. On this track, Youngboy allegedly threatens King Vaughn. He starts off by taking shots at Jania when he said, After that, the subliminal shots at Vaughn came in when he said this. Now, King Vaughn actually moved to Atlanta, so Youngboy mentions this on the track while allegedly threatening Vaughn, which is very eerie because he seemingly predicted King Vaughn's demise. I got pictures of you on November 3rd, 2020, King Von would do an interview with DJ Academics, and when he was asked if he had a beef with Young Boy, he actually said, "No, it's just the internet." Yeah. All right. So, so you wouldn't have no rap beef. You wouldn't be having no rap beef then. Nah, hell no. Nah, ain't no rap beef. Oh, oh. What? Ain't no rap beef, and it ain't no real beef unless somebody yeah. got shot or something. Or you know what somebody... people told me? People told me well, you and Young Boy was beefing or something like that. Nah, that ain't something about that a lot. What happened, Von? What's going on with you, man? <laughs> they be saying that a lot. It's like we got the same interests and, and, and holes. And, and then, you know how the internet will try to make it. Don't tell me I got problems over girls. No, it's the internet, gang. It's the, it's the you know, they try to make it like that because it's the internet. You see what I'm saying? Mm. And, then, and then, you know how females is. Females will try to make it like that because they females. And they'll try to make it like one more, one more hard and try to. It be just all type of shit. But it ain't nothing too serious, nothing. What you should worry about around this time asian doll which was king von's girlfriend and young boy started recording music the next day og3 went live on ig when young boy could be seen in the background dancing to him and asian doll's new song von would respond on twitter when he had this to say i'll post some shit on this bitch that make a mf cry and stop claiming they kids and all type of shit. matter of fact watch this i'm on that then he retracted it when he said Nah, I'm just playing. I ain't on shit. If Asian happy, I'm happy for real. That shit still sounded weak though. Me and Jania song way better for real. And the cover hard. Nah, for real, I quit. Let me lead by example since I'm the oldest in the situation. The first war amongst great men started over a woman. We ain't into that. Just share the same hoes. Shit ain't about nothing and the hoes ain't even all that. I'm out of here. I ain't finna beef bout no bitch, dog. She's mine's too. Don't get me sending shots back confused with me being hurt. I just ain't never been the type to let a motherfucker shoot at me without dumping back. No feelings involved, for real. Just entertainment at this point. On November 6th, 2020, King Von was promoting his album, Welcome to O Block, while in an Atlanta club and attended the after party. After that, him and his homies drove to a hookah lounge. They stayed in the car for about 30 minutes until Vaughn was notified that Quando Rondo was there with just one other person. And that one other person was his half-brother by the name of Timothy Leakes, otherwise known as Lil' Tim. King Vaughn and his homies saw this, so they got out of the car and walked towards Quando Rondo. This is where a fight would break out. Lil' Tim saw his homie Quando getting jumped, so he allegedly pulled out a pistol and shot King Vaughn twice. During this confrontation, Lil' Tim was also struck with a bullet where he would be taken to the hospital and treated for the wound before being taken into custody. King Vaughn was immediately rushed to the hospital, but during surgery, King Vaughn tragically passed away. Yeah, Rick and Sean, according to GBI, rapper King Vaughn and his group were at Opium Nightclub before making their way here to Monaco Hookah Lounge, then to the parking lot where chaos ensued. It hurt us. It hurt us a lot. I cried. Some, some of my friends cried. He, he, he had a big influence on us. A really big influence. 26 year old Devon Bennett, also known as rapper King Vaughn. Two men approached King Vaughn and his group in the parking lot. And an argument ensued. The argument quickly escalating to a shootout between the two groups. The very next day, on November 7th, Lil Tim was arrested and charged for the alleged murder of King Vaughn. After this, NBA Big B took to Instagram to make a video clowning King Vaughn after his passing. 
He would later deny that he was dissing King Von in this video. Are you you're dissing now? You're getting wrapped down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 600 Breezy would take to Instagram to say that he was on his way to Baton Rouge to retaliate for King Von when he posted a story on IG saying, Steppers on the way, 150 miles an hour. And another one saying, 4K TK, which means 4K Trey Killer, which is Young Boy's crew. On November 20th, 2020, Quando Rondo dropped the track called End of Story, where he had to respond to the King Von situation. People further speculated that this track was a play on King Von's song Crazy Story, but that rumor was denied by Quando Rondo himself. A few days later, NBA Big B was shot in Baton Rouge, which was speculated to be retaliation for laughing at King Von on IG, but that was later debunked by authorities. On November 28th, Quando Rondo's show in Georgia was canceled by the mayor and police after word got out that Lil Durk and his crew might turn up. A couple weeks later, on December 18th, Mimo 600 dropped the track called Duck Your Show, which is a diss towards Quando Rondo, and the music video was filmed in Quando's hood of Savannah, Georgia. Duck your show, cause them gangs battle, blow, them killers came with us. On January 15, 2021, Lil Durk featured on the remix to Fredo Bang's song, Top, which Durk mourns the death of King Von, but this is officially where the beef sparked off between Lil Durk and NBA Youngboy, because Fredo Bang being YB's biggest op, Youngboy will see this as Durk being an op as well. Lil Durk also inherited the beef from King Von, especially after Quando Rondo would begin taking shots at Von on wax. On February 12th, 2021, Quando Rondo dropped a track called Soul Reaper, and in the music video, there's a Lil Durk lookalike getting ran up on and shot. He also references the King Von situation once again. I don't give a Quando Rondo took to IG to deny that this was a diss towards Dirk, saying, These fans make anything up. Don't even be thinking like that. A couple days after that, on February 17th, 2021, 600 Breezy dropped this project, Art of War. And on the track, New Ops, he sent shots directly at Quando Rondo and Lil Tim, saying that it's only a matter of time before they smoke Quando Rondo. He says that he wants Lil Tim to be free so we could see him in the streets. Matter of time before they smoke that On March 5th, 2021, OTF and Lil Durk dropped the track called Hellcats and Trackhawks. And on this track, Durk sent shots at Quando Rondo, where he references when his shows were canceled. We on his ass where his shows at. He get away, we on his ass where he parole at. On March 22nd, 2021, NBA Youngboy was driving in Los Angeles when police attempted a traffic stop on an outstanding warrant, which led to Youngboy fleeing from police. When he stopped the car, he ran on foot, and officers brought in a canine unit to track him down, which led to his arrest. Officers reportedly found a firearm in his vehicle, but it was unclear if it belonged to him. On March 26th, 2021, Lil Tim was granted a bail of $100,000 following his murder case for the suspected murder of King Von and would be released from jail. On April 3rd, 2021, Quando Rondo was doing a virtual performance when he seemingly dissed King Von, saying he was going to piss on his grave. He got caught without that pole, that bitch gone. It is getting great. I piss on his grave. I can't keep it on my fucking mind. You ain't the night time. But from my understanding, ma'am, it was a love, it was a, I had a relationship with the big bro, not want to say his name. Not, you feel me? You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, cool. That was on my album. Okay. Like, it was all love with us from my understanding. I've heard you say positive things about him. You feel and, me? As an artist, and y'all hung out. Shortly after this interview, on May 3rd, 2021, Quando Rondo just got done performing at his first show since the King Von situation when him and his crew went to a convenience store in Blackshear. And around 3.20 a.m., Quando Rondo and his entourage were allegedly shot at and police believe the shots were fired from across the highway. Police say that one man in the group was shot in the hand and treated at a local hospital, while Quando Rondo was not struck by any bullets. On June 4th, 2021, Lil Durk and Lil Baby dropped their collab album, Voice of the Heroes, and on the track Still Running, on his verse, Durk sent shots at Quando Rondo, Lil Tim, 
and then be a young boy. Dirk said that he's gonna slide for Vaughn, and he also references Quando Rondo's show being cancelled, and the interview Quando did inside of a Rolls Royce with Angela Yee, saying that the Rolls Royce better be bulletproof. That Rolls better be bulletproof, little you know we gon' shoot at them stars. Shortly after the release of this track, two days later on June 6, 2021, Lil Dirk's older brother D Thang was shot and killed outside of Club O in Harvey, Illinois. The shooting was not linked to Youngboy or his camp. Lil Tim decided to pursue a rap career when he dropped his song off the list on July 21st, 2021. And on this track, he throws shots at Lil Durk, King Vaughn, and the rest of OTF. Lil Tim went real disrespectful on the music video. He could be seen with a shovel pretending to bury King Vaughn. After seven months behind bars on October 26th, 2021, NBA Youngboy was released on a $500,000 bond. YB would be placed under home confinement, aka house arrest, in Utah, where his location is being monitored. The next day, on October 27th, 2021, Quando Rondo dropped the track called Time Spent, and it's speculated that Quando dissed Dirk when he referenced that his disses got his brother killed. Now, of course, this is all just speculation and not proven to be true at all. Looks like that dissing in them songs I got your brother killed Not even a million bucks could change the way your mom's I feel On January 12, 2022, Youngboy dropped the track called Bring the Hook Where he would send shots at King Vaughn After Youngboy said that on his song Bring the Hook A video surfaced of the entire O Block burning green flags Which symbolizes Youngboy's crew 4K Trey Dirk got wind of this, so he posted a photo to Instagram of him next to a picture of King Vaughn, and the caption says, Don't claim it if you ain't do it. You still a bitch. Quando Rondo would then repost the song on his IG story, and he wrote, O Block Pack get rolled up every day, no cap. Academics would then take to Twitter and tweeted saying that Youngboy was on Demon Time, in which Lil Reese would respond saying, That ain't no Demon Time, he's just rapping like the rest of these rappers all rap. A couple days later, a guy named Chapo, who's an alleged member of Georgia's BD's GMT 1300, posted on Facebook replying to a post about Quando Rondo dissing Oblock, saying, He ain't did a show in a year, and the one he did? Ask him about how many shots was let off. Referring to the shooting that took place after Quando Rondo's first show at the convenience store in May the previous year, so it's speculated that he was in fact claiming to be the shooter that day, but that's just speculation and not proven to be true. On January 21st, 2022, Youngboy took to Instagram when he posted a photo of himself laying next to a pile of money that spelt out, you n-words gon' die. Youngboy would then post another photo with money, this time it's spelled out saying, stay safe, which was a message towards Lil Dirk and his camp. Dirk would clap back with a post of his own when he was chilling on the stairs with a pile of money that spelt out, hurry y'all up, which was clearly a mock and a message at Youngboy. On January 25th, 2022, Gucci Mane and Lil Dirk dropped the track called Rumors, and on its verse, Dirk sent shots at Youngboy and his camp when he referenced when they allegedly shot Lil Tim during the confrontation with Quando Rondo. A couple weeks later, on February 22nd, 2022, Lil Dirk dropped the track called Aha which is a diss towards Youngboy and his entire crew. He starts off the track by telling Youngboy not to respond to anything to do with King Vaughn. He then threw shots at Youngboy's ex and baby mama Jania when he said this. Lil Durk would then allegedly claim the shooting of Quando Rondo that took place on May 3rd, 2021 when he said this. You can bleed whatever you want, I got your folks here. Youngboy got wind of this, so just a few hours later, NBA Youngboy dropped a track called I Hate Youngboy. And on this track, Youngboy responds to Dirk, but also throws strays at Gucci Mane for collabing with Dirk, Kayla B, which is King Von's sister, Lil Baby caught some strays, and YB also diss Apple Music for promoting Dirk's song Aha. YB also makes it very clear that whoever does music with Lil Dirk is an automatic target. Youngboy starts off the track by clowning the death of King Von. He then responds to Dirk when he threw Dirk's fiance India into the mix. He 
got me a that's indio that be yo he then goes at King Von's sister for when she tweeted saying she's big 4L. Lil Durk's father even caught some strays when Youngboy threw shots at him saying this. Lil Durk responded to this by putting a billboards in Youngboy's home city of Louisiana saying Dirk better, which is a mock to YB better which Youngboy fans made popular. Youngboy got wind of this, so he would put up billboards of his own in Chicago promoting his new project, Colors, and the billboard read, YB versus everybody. This beef died down for a bit until on August 5th, 2022, NBA Youngboy dropped his album, The Last Slimito, and on a couple of the tracks, he goes at Dirk. On the track, Fuck the Industry, he goes at Lil Dirk, and also allegedly sends subliminal shots at King Vaughn when he says he got killed for all that dissing. On the track, mm-hmm, he sent more shots at Dirk when he referenced Dirk's AHA track. <laughs> On the track, Seven Days, he disses his baby mama, Jania, for hanging around King Vaughn. A couple weeks after this, Quando Rondo was shot at once again. According to the article, several gunmen drove to a gas station in Beverly Grove and opened fire hitting a young man. Quando Rondo and his friends fled the scene, but were stopped by law enforcement for questioning, and actual footage of Quando's interaction with the police has surfaced online. Of course, rumors sparked that Lil Durk might have been behind the attack, but that's just all a rumor and no evidence point to Dirk as he is completely innocent. Fast forward to November 25th, 2022. Quando Rondo and NBA Youngboy dropped their collab project 3860. And of course, shots were thrown at Dirk and King Vaughn. The opening track, I Swear, features Lil Tim, and on his verse, he references the King Von incident. All these parties on my conscience, huh? Crazy catch a walking out of party, hop on, walk him down. On the track, Casket Talk, Quando Rondo shouts out Lil Tim for protecting him during his confrontation with King Von and his crew. On the track, Want Me Dead, Quando Rondo gets real disrespectful when he disses King Von and his sister. He also throws shots at Dirk, and references when shooters missed him in August of that year at a gas station in LA. Quanto also says, F 300, which is the alleged gang that Lil Dirk claims. So as you can tell, Quanto really went in on Dirk on this verse. My favorite up there, sister talk too much, no I don't like the no, like me on the product, I on this some Nike kid. Dirk got wind of this, so on December 16th, 2022, OTF dropped their project, Loyal Bros 2. And on the track, Hanging With Wolves, Dirk sent shots back at Youngboy and Quando when he says he ain't trying to squash no wars. Nah, we ain't trying to squash no wars. We ain't trying to make peace with them boys. There's no money did in there. This beef went quiet for a couple of months besides a few subliminals here and there, but the beef would be reignited in early 2023. On March 13th, 2023, Lil Durk took to Twitter to speak on his current relationship with India when he said, I hopped on Twitter to say I love you. Now I'm back going crazy, lady. Youngboy would then put out a tweet giving his two cents on this, saying, LOL, damn, I know how it be when that would turn to a demon. She would respond with a couple of tweets of her own, saying, That little boy need to find somebody to play with. You was just a dirty little bad kid. You ain't like that for real. She would clarify who this tweet was aimed at when she replied to it, saying, I'm talking about Dented. People think because they was dirty and in the hood, they automatically gang. You wasn't toting no guns. You was food deprived. That's still my BD. I don't play about him. Y'all can chill for real. Don't speak on me. I let you slide the first time. A video then surfaced of young boy bumping one of his songs called Big Truck. And this was a diss to India. Yeah. <laughs> After that, things went quiet, but on May 3rd, 2023, Academics was on his stream when he said that the beat between NBA Youngboy and Lil Durk was squashed. Now that beat is squashed. You ain't here? <laughs> Yo, Hack, I'm you crazy. Dirk and yeah, Youngboy don't have beef. Boy, I'm serious. Imagine. Dirk and... Oh, I, 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 I might have forgot to tell the public that. Dirk and Youngboy don't got beef no more. Now, a lot of people believe this, especially since Dirk actually liked the tweet regarding this news. Dirk would then take to Instagram to debunk these rumors with a story saying, 
I ain't friends with no dudes. Stop it. Lil Durk followed up with the tweet, sneak dissing young boys saying, Humble, I don't get played with just YouTube. Because young boy is known for having most of his numbers come from YouTube. During this time, Lil Durk was rumored to drop his album Almost Healed on Friday, May 12th. Youngboy saw this, so he went on Twitter and completely went off on academics and Lil Durk with a series of tweets. The first tweet was a photo of his new project called Richest Op, which was dropping on the same day that Durk was supposed to drop his album, so YB tried sabotaging Durk's sales. Youngboy captioned the tweet when he added Lil Durk, saying, At Lil Durk, you a bitch, and your nasty ass and it's shown. He tweeted more, saying, at Lil Durk, lol, you ever realize you only get a buzz when one of your friends die? Think about it, scary bum bitch. You know I ain't lying, haha, ha, hashtag fact. Then he went at India once again when he added her on Twitter saying, Tell that referring to Dirk, he bed not drop, he ain't thank, pretty lady. NBA Youngboy would then go live on IG from his business account when he previewed new music. And three days later, on May 11, 2023, YB dropped the track called The Bitch, Let's Do It. And on the track, he sends subliminal shots at Dirk. On the music video at the end of the track, he sends a message to Lil Dirk. On May 11th, Lil Dirk tweeted, Midnight, it's up, referring to his alleged album release, in which Youngboy would reply to the tweet saying, It's been up, you a bitch. Stay down, you bet not drop. You ain't gonna never troll off a gangster ever again. On May 12th, 2023, Youngboy dropped his project, Richest Op. The night that he dropped it, Lil Durk posted a photo of his album on Instagram with the caption, Almost healed the album, May 26th. Aha. So instead of dropping his album that day, he dropped a single with J. Cole called All My Life. So it appears that Durk was trolling YB into baiting him to B for promo. Youngboy saw this and posted a video on Twitter calling out Durk for pushing his album back. Yay! You push back, you better not ever try it again. Don't play with me. Show on my watch, my mind. This little top n I got that shit in my pants. Got that shit in my lungs. A couple weeks later, Lil Durk appeared on Off the Record to talk with academics, where he would give his response to everyone saying he used Young Boy for promo and calls King Von's alleged killer Lil Tim a nerd and Quan Rondo a little boy. But I feel like he fe he feels you're poking a bear. You say he's. That's his, that's his, that's his problem. What's y'all issue, though? Like, because honestly, like, I feel like I, like, now it's so, I feel like I gotta be, like, no disrespect, I obviously can't be Mr. Louis Farrakhan in terms of trying to solve something, but if, if it is something that could be ever solved, I'm just reading. Go ahead. Talk. I'm just reading. If there's something that could ever be solved, or if there's something that you guys could ignore each other, because not everything could be solved. And why don't we trust? You say what? What's the issue with you and young boy? Like, how did it start? I, because there's I, a ton I really, of I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't. I really don't know. I don't know. Because what you do. You've met him before. What did you do for me to be in tour with you? Like the world thing. Diss songs back and forth. Cool. I think this beef still hasn't been resolved, and I don't see it ever being resolved due to how personal it actually got, with lives being lost on both sides. On January 10th, 2019, a 16-year-old kid named Bryson Potts, otherwise known as NLE Choppa, dropped a single called Shot of Flow. After this, NLE Choppa would blow up, but it didn't take long for fans to immediately start comparing him to Youngboy. NLE stands for No Love Entertainment, which is Choppa's label, and NBA stands for Never Broke Again, which is Youngboy's label. So fans thought Choppa was copying YB by putting his three-letter abbreviation for his label before his rap name. If you look at Youngboy's hairstyle in late 2018 and early 2019, you can see that Anneli Choppa actually had the same hairstyle as well. In March 2019, Anneli Choppa was on IG Live when he was asked if he was trying to beef with Youngboy, and this is how it went. Feel like you trying to beef with Youngboy? Cuz, when the fuck 
if I ever said I'm trying to be with a young boy. Let me know. Let me know. Young boy, my favorite rapper. I'm trying to be with young boy. He my favorite rapper. Stop all that messy ass shit for the internet, cuz. All the niggas listen to me, young boy, no love train, Dreep. How the f? Must said you made a dish. You dumb as f. That was a leaked song, fool. When did I diss him? Man, that's for, I already got a video for it. Nah, for retarded in hell, cuz. I already got a video to it. They just took the leaves out there, how you wear it, and spit it, and something else. Well, how you beefing with that man, cuz? That last time, dumb as hell. Y'all yeah, wanna see it. Y'all do it wrong with y'all niggas. Y'all wanna see niggas beef and shit. I'm up now. I look like beef. What fuck up. you talking about? <laughs> I'm up, cuz. I ain't beefing with nine niggas, fool, and this blood get shit, cuz. I'm up. If I ain't shit, or if ain't about money, cuz. I'm not beefing with nine niggas. I'm up, cuz. But, fool, I still crash on the nigga like I'm down, though. You know what I'm saying? Since y'all wanna post anything, you'll post it. Young boy, my favorite rapper. Fuck you talking about. Post it. Just a little less than a month later, on April 2nd, 2019, Fredo Bang dropped a track called Gangsta Talk. Enelie Choppa actually features on this song. Now, if you watch this entire video up to this point, you would know that Fredo Bang is one of Youngboy's biggest ops. So Choppa doing a song with him didn't look good at all. Because if you know Youngboy, he views people who collab with his ops as an enemy. What made the situation even worse was that Enelie Choppa allegedly dissed Youngboy on this track when he said this. I'm hotter than Harvey, so tell me who now, if you know at the time, there was speculation that Youngboy contracted herpes from his baby mama Jania, so this was perceived as a shot at Youngboy. During this time, Youngboy is actually behind bars for a probation violation, so on June 14th, 2019, Enelie Choppa showed support when he dropped the track called Free Youngboy, which came as a shock to fans due to the rumors of an alleged beef. A couple days later, on June 19th, 2019, Annalie Choppa actually got into a confrontation at a club with Quando Rondo. After the fight broke out, Quando Rondo allegedly hit one of Choppa's boys in the head with a bottle of liquor, which was admitted by Quando Rondo himself on Instagram shortly after the confrontation. I just quack in there and chop a homeboy in this shit. Running up on me. Hey, quack nigga in this shit, nigga. And they only chopper, and I got that found me, hey, bro, and I'm wild, wild Houston. Hey, What's up? Yo, nigga. 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 What's up? Yo, Shaq Glizzy say, book me for another show and I'm a thuggy. Hey, quack that nigga in this shit, ain't it? Yeah, stop playing with me. And Ali Choppa took to his IG to post a story saying, y'all dudes talking shit but hide behind security. Bro, know what the fuck going on. I don't care about that rap shit. I'll quake one of you dudes on Grape Street. And Ali would then post a video calling out Quando Rondo for allegedly hiding behind security and tells Quando that he can't come to Memphis. Good, how the f is you just took y'all hiding behind security, cuz? Oh, Jesus Christ, when we, when when we brought that shit out, y'all know what the fuck you did, you came and hid, hid behind security. You was a bitch, nigga. Oh, Jesus. You hid behind security and threw a bottle in my nigga head, but you gangster. What? Did you talking about, cuz? Mike saying that we doing this shit for real. Oh, Jesus. In your ass can't come to Memphis. You talking about? You can't come to me. You talking about? Bitch. Quando Rondo would go live on Instagram shortly after to call out an elite chopper. You was a fucking basketball player before you blew up. I ain't never been to the seventh grade. The fuck, nigga? I nigga tripping. Then that 
tell him I some goddamn, I can't come to Memphis. Nigga, I go where the fuck I wanna go, nigga. Oh God, nigga. Ain't no, nigga, oh God, nigga. Goddamn, kill me. On my mama. On my, I wanna, it's in my head. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. You gotta kill me. You gotta shoot me in my shit. Cause one thing about it, nigga. Yeah, I'm one of them niggas. I'm, I'm running to it. When some shit come my way, I'm running to it. One thing about it, nigga, I ain't hiding from shit. I mean, nigga, I'm by myself, nigga. The fuck, nigga. I ain't said nothing to them little niggas. Nigga, oh God. Nigga, this, nigga, this will happen. I walk in the fucking show, my nigga. I walk in the show, so right? I ain't saying nothing to nobody. I ain't with nobody, my nigga. Oh, my mama, nigga. I'm getting ready to go to the stage. So shit. Goddamn, so shit, Montana and I'm about to go in the room with a bunch of niggas. I'm not saying it just like that. I don't know none of them niggas. The fuck, I'm not going to niggas. You feel me? Nigga, if I don't know a nigga, I don't know a nigga. Damn, fit one gas hop up. Damn, you gotta be gay. You want me in your presence or something? He like, what you mean you don't know us? I said, nigga, I don't know y'all. The fuck? What I said, that's some real shit, my nigga. You mad? First of all, if you mad because a nigga don't want to come chill around you, you you suck. You be getting in your wife's nigga. The fuck? So shit, I'm like, man, I'm about to stand in front of the door. I'm not going to nigga. Just like that, still in front of the door. Crack the Hennessy bottle, man. I'm drinking. I gotta get drunk by going to still on the stage and walk out. You feel me? I gotta get drunk by going on the stage and walk out so I could goddamn go, yeah, turn up and shit like that. So shit, I'm standing there, nigga. So hood, nigga. Everything I love, nigga. This on my child, my nigga. This on my soul. This on my dead homies. One of that nigga partners ran out and said, "What's cracking?" I said, "Nigga, what the fuck you mean? What's cracking? I don't nigga don't ask me shit. I don't know you." Tripping. This nigga ran back in the room and got NLE chopper and all them. They run out there. Soon as a nigga run out, no talking. Come here, boom! Bust him across the shit with a bottle, split his head open. I got $40,000, nigga. I got $40,000 right now in the book bag. Blues. I got $40,000. This nigga NLE chopper won't post his homeboy. He won't post his homeboy. I bet Brad he won't post his homeboy. Oh, my mama, that these stitches, that nigga need stitches from his forehead to his nose by playing with me. Yeah, nigga, you tripping. Yeah, that, that, listen, y'all, y'all let that little boy fool y'all, my nigga. That little boy, that is a child. I wouldn't even swung on that little boy. He was in fact, if I wanted to do something, I might could have did it. That's why I bust his partner in this shit. Come, you feel me? I ain't about to fuck no little nigga because you a little nigga. I mean, my nigga, you ain't even on my level. You ain't even thinking how I'm thinking, my nigga. Your mindset ain't even like mine, cousin. You tripping, cuz. Well, my mama, cuz. Man, listen, cuz. Man, that nigga is a bitch, my nigga. All of them some bitches. That nigga, you know, he chop a, be on the road with his mama. You be on the road with your mama. The fuck? You was a child. You was a fucking basketball player. One thing about it, my nigga, I've been thugging since the seventh grade. I've been out there, yeah, out, out in them streets for real. I got sent on the road when I was 12, nigga. One thing about it, I got sent on the road when I was 12 years old. I ain't had a chance to go to the eighth grade and all that shit. You just been. 14 years old playing basketball. The fuck you a fucking. You, you want to put down the ball and all of a sudden start thugging? Man, you was a bad brother. You tripping. One thing about it, my nigga. I'm going anywhere I want to go on earth, my nigga. I, I, I'm going to Alaska. I'm going to China. I'm going to Asia. I'm going to Mexico. If I want to dig holes in the ground and go on the ground, that's why I'm going there. A nigga ain't going to tell me why I can't go, my nigga. Straight up, nigga. You tripping. On God. You was a little nigga. 
You ain't got no fucking street cred, brother. You tripping. Everybody, man, nigga, everybody from your city say you grew up on the nice side of town. The fuck? A nigga not gonna play with me. You tripping. On oh God. Anywhere I go, my nigga, I don't give a fuck, boy. Cause one thing about it, I'm gonna die about it. Yeah. And Ali Chapa took to IG Live himself to respond to Quando Rondo. You behind seven security guards and you throw a bottle in my nigga head. And as soon as we steady Russia, y'all, y'all up y'all straps on this. Seven security guards while you talking, still talking. What are we supposed to do? And then when we get outside, cause we see it meet us outside. And we and, and now it now it's fur. And I ain't gonna say too much because I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm on fucking probation at the end of the day. I'm on probation at the end of the day. So when it, when we get outside and get to high sprinter and come back to where everything fur and everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody fur. Y'all got y'all shit. We got our shit. You wanna sit on the, you wanna sit on the stairs and record your security guards at the door. No, I'm saying, fool. Look, I ain't, bro. I ain't make it to beef. Quanto further called out Enelie Chapa when he would post an alleged DM of him and Enelie Chapa, which the DM that Chapa wrote says, "I don't know if you fuck with me, but I just want to tell you, keep turning up, clat, and stay safe out there." Been texting young boy and shit, a lot of fake beef that was stirred up, squashed. I just want to tell you before I blew up, I was bumping you guys nonstop. Keep turning up, loke. In which Quando Rondo captioned it saying, Scary ass boy, been in my DM trying to solve problems, don't make me post the video. Insinuating that he has a video of the fight that broke out. After this, everything would go quiet on both ends and in 2020, Annalie Chapa started dating Young Blasian, who is Youngboy's ex-girlfriend that he made a whole song about called Blasian back in November of 2018. A couple years later, on January 12th, 2022, academics made a post on Twitter saying that NBA Youngboy was on Demon Time. Lil Reese, who was affiliated with Lil Durk, chimed in when he would say, That ain't no Demon Time, he just rapping like the rest of these rappers all rap. In which Annalie Chopper replied to this tweet saying, I stamp that. NBA Youngboy saw this as Annalie Chopper siding with Lil Durk and his camp, which makes sense given that Annalie Chopper was close friends with King Vaughn, which as you know, Youngboy's crew allegedly had something to do with his passing on November 6th. So a week later, on January 18th, 2022, NBA Youngboy dropped the track called No Like I Know. And on this track, he goes directly at Annalie Chopper, threatening him for choosing sides in his beef with Dirk. And he also references Chopper's mom a lot. Because if you know, Annalie Chopper is really close with his mom, and she actually manages his career. A couple days later, NLA Chapa appeared on Off the Record, where he would explain the situation with Youngboy, saying that it was never his intent to side against Youngboy, he was just sticking up for King Vaughn. It wasn't never with me picking a side. Honestly, bro, I barely read what Lil Reese said. I barely really read what he said. I just know what he was saying was siding with my boy Vaughn. I can if you would have asked me what little what Lil Reese tweeted, I wouldn't have been able to speak it word for word. I wouldn't have been able to tweet the whole tweet because at the end of the day, there wasn't the purpose behind it. Like being on the side or just just trying to be in some. Shit. It was just out the simple fact, like bro, don't be able to defend his name and like. Now it was rumored that Anneli Chapa actually changed the name of his song "Free Young Boy" to. F young boy with screenshots proving this but this could be photoshopped and this has not been confirmed by Enelie Chapa himself so I don't want to put that on Chapa. A couple months later on April 8th 2022 Enelie Chapa dropped a track called Sleazy Flow and it was speculated that he sent subliminal shots back at NBA Youngboy when he said clean up on aisle Trey which is a play on Youngboy saying clean up on aisle O except Chapa is seemingly aiming it towards 4k Trey. Name my chopper, clean up on Al Trey. Chopper also allegedly references when he slept with Young Boy's ex girlfriend, Young Blasian, when he said this. Why you mad your be choosing? Cause we winning and you losing. She say she go dry when y'all be f 
fucking when I hit jacuzzi. Choppa also subliminally referenced Youngboy's hit song Make No Sense and says that Youngboy ain't a threat. Yo ass is not a threat. X around, you know I'm him. I get you killed without a check. Killing out the strength don't make no sense. Choppa denied that this was a diss at YB when he tweeted saying, I don't diss. Period. Later that year, on August 5th, 2022, NBA Youngboy dropped his album, The Last Slimito. And on the track, Fuck the Industry, he sent subliminal shots at NLE Chopper. After that, nothing was said between both camps, and it seems as if this beef is squashed, but one can only guess that NBA Youngboy still feels some resentment towards NLE Chopper. In June of 2017, NBA Youngboy linked up with Kodak Black to drop the track called Water. And from there, Kodak and Youngboy developed a friendship that would be until a rumor began spreading that these two had beef. On August 26, 2017, Kodak dropped the track called Time Never Mattered, and he sent subliminal shots at Youngboy. Kodak never gonna rope again. But Fans immediately knew that these were subliminals towards Youngboy, but nothing really came out of it. And on December 10th, 2017, Youngboy and Kodak dropped their collab song called Chosen One. After that, in January 2018, Kodak Black would get locked up for weapons and drug possession, along with child neglect. While locked up, NBA Youngboy showed his support for Yak when he recorded a song called Letter to Kodak which was never released officially, but later leaked. In April 2018, Kodak Black was sentenced to 364 days in prison for his January arrest, but he only served the 90 days and was released in August of that year. While he was behind bars, Youngboy showed support once again on his track Genie, which was released on April 5th, 2018. Free Kodak, everything is slay. So life to the end, tell them free the main sniper. Yeah. In August of 2018, Youngboy would join an IG Live with academics, and when he was asked about his relationship with Kodak, he briefly spoke about him, saying that money will never change him. Yo, 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 yo what's your relationship with like Kodak, yo? Because I feel like every time you come out, he go in, he come out, you go in for a little bit. It feel like we can't get both of y'all and Y'all be making, like, like I, I categorize y'all make real, real new music. You feel me? So fans always want to hear from both y'all, but it feel like. Me, hey, me and Kodak got so many songs. Yeah. The thing about it, though, with Kodak, you think I'm fucked up. That nigga <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> what you mean? That nigga fucked up. I ain't fucked up compared to him. Yeah. What, you, what do you mean? He, like? wanted them, he wanted them to see a real street. This yeah. never change him. Never. I feel like now when he get out, he gonna really notice like I'm somebody and I got responsibility. You hear me? But hey, that shit don't change him. Yeah. Damn. He yep. that for hey, he he that for real, you hear me? Things would go quiet until November 16th, 2018. Quando Rondo hopped on IG Live when he revealed that the underwear brand Ethica sent him a pair of Sniper Gang underwear. So Quando Rondo took it upon himself to burn the underwear with a lighter while saying, we NBA, man, and tells Ethica not to send him any more pairs of Sniper Gang apparel. Oh, yes. Chill out, man. <laughs> man, we uh, NBA, man. What's on that shit? Mm -hmm. JP! Man, it's up! We'll get on f***, man! Man, we stand on these yeah, things, man! Fuck it, fuck it! Huh? Hey, JP! What up? Wacko! Yo! Um, you must can't hear me, JP! Don't burn me! Man, we on some NBA s***, man! Tell Ethical don't send me this no more, man! I'm telling y'all, I'm about to offer some real deal! Bed, God damn, you about to burn <laughs> my dick! You running the bed, cuz? <laughs> Wilson, let's go outside. So they ain't hotel when you're fucking with it. Yeah. Man, yeah. I ain't gonna say no more. 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 Bitch, this is a rock. Man, we NBA, motherfucker. We motherfucking NBA. <laughs> After this, rumors were heavily on this beef being reignited. 
Things got worse when Sniper Gang would respond a couple days later on a video where they clapped back by burning a Never Broke Again shirt. Sniper Gang would follow up by posting a video with guns, but Kodak would go on IG Live on December 3rd, 2018 and forgive Quando Rondo. When them niggas in bed were trying to fight you, I told them niggas, no, fight me. For you. You gotta be even tweeting. You got to. It's alright, dog. You know what? I forgive you, nigga, man. I forgive you, nigga, man. And then, you be listening to my music. All you had to do was Kodak. Can I get a shout out, bro? Could you post my picture? Could you post my music? I would have did it. It's alright though, bro. It's alright, dog. It's okay, bro. A couple months later, in February 2019, Quando Rondo revealed the new hairstyle, which was very similar to Kodak's legendary Wix. In 2017. The next day, Kodak took to IG Live to call out Quando Rondo for allegedly copying his hairstyle and says that people in Georgia don't look like that. Man, these out here like eating boot ass chips, man. Like, I went and like never even like wanted to look like a like, especially I know like you feel me like me in another thing, even really on good turn. I wasn't even like. I try my best, like, not to look like, bro, or to be involved in whatever. Like, you know what I'm talking about? These bitches, bitch. I don't even know why I'm. Fucking a booty ass, showing them ass, out of town, Georgia, man. Bitch, y'all don't even look like that up there. Like, y'all don't even. I don't even, like. Why would a nigga want to look like that, nigga, fuck? Like, that's, that's, that's good in the you feel me? That same day, Quando Rondo hopped on IG Live himself to address Kodak, saying that he's not trying to be like anyone else. Cuz, how the fuck am I trying to be like somebody else, cuz? I ain't trying to be like no fucking body else, cuz. The fuck, cuz? I don't give a fuck about that lame ass, cuz. The fuck be on they live and shit talking about this and that, this and that. I ain't like y'all other white niggas. I. Yo, I'm I'm from the trenches for real, for real, cuz all y'all niggas hating this shit, cuz don't compare me to these other rappers. None of that. I ain't nothing like these other rappers. I don't call other rappers. I don't DM other rappers. None of that. The most I do is see a rapper post some shoes or something. I comment, oh yeah, that's hard. This or that, this or that. Other than that, I don't call other rappers and be like, bitch, bro, come get in my video. I might send another rapper a song or something. If they don't do it, they don't do it. If they do it, you feel me, real nigga. Other than that, cuz I do not build these rappers dick. I be with my family and my niggas, cuz. The fuck? And all y'all rappers be on Instagram and shit. But one until when the nigga went to a nigga, ain't even gonna be like that. Ain't even gonna be up for real. You feel me? Having some shit come to me. This I'ma go about it. You feel me? I ain't, I ain't nothing like all other rappers and hating ass niggas and shit. I, 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 you feel me? Sling iron for real. You feel me? Y'all other niggas cap. You feel me? I really be thugging. You feel me? After that, Kodak Black got locked up in May 2019 for a federal weapons charge just before he was set to perform at Rolling Loud Miami. And in November 2019. Kodak pled guilty to the federal weapon charge, admitting he gave false information in connection with the January 2019 gun purchase, where he'd be sentenced to three years and 10 months in prison. While Kodak Black was incarcerated, this beef would pop off this time in full effect. It all started on April 4th, 2020. NBA Youngboy's then-girlfriend Ayanna Mayweather got into a scuffle with LaPatra Jacobs, which is one of NBA Youngboy's baby mamas, after discovering her inside YB's crib. During the scuffle, Ayanna allegedly stabbed her with two knives during the fight, 
which led to police showing up and Ayana was arrested. On the footage obtained by TMZ, you can see NBA Youngboy allegedly talking to law enforcement outside of his home, which began rumors online that Youngboy actually snitched on his alleged fiance, Ayana Mayweather. While behind bars, Kodak requested that his team made a post to Instagram, and on this post, Kodak accuses Youngboy of snitching on Ayana Mayweather. The hell they mean fully cooperated, lol. They ain't say a little piece, bit. They say fully, lol. Anyways, man, that word ain't even supposed to be attached to your name, at NBA Youngboy. Damn, don't do that little girl like that, man. I mean, I'm locked up, but this shit got it looking like if it was on some other shit, you'll tell something. This shit make like you was scared them people was gonna try to charge you with it or something, so you screamed. That ain't the drip, man. You know we don't holla at them people. One of them dudes in hizzy with you could have talked to them folks before you did. Cause you didn't do sh**, shake my head. Where your coach was, shake my head. I see I'm gonna have to write you a letter and tie your shoes for you, little bruh. That same day, young boy hopped on IG Live to respond and he went completely off on Kodak for accusing him of snitching on his wife. I ain't never paid attention to a n especially from no mother and say a n***a, the fucking n***a watching me fuck. Then what a n***a say, a n***a say, n***a say I corroborated. Bow, bow, pain, bow, 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 what you stupid bitch? Huh? Young boy wasn't finished. He went back on IG Live and continued his rant on Kodak, but he also went at Kodak's artist and close friend Jack Boy when he claimed that NBA Ben 10 slept with Jack Boy's girl. Then, then look, say 10. Oh yeah, I'm at your top two with your hating ass boy. You'll be hating on me bad. You me? You'll be hating on me so bad. Type of watching, nigga, man. You a hating ass. Say ten. Oh, ten. Where you at upstairs? Where you at upstairs, ten? Hey, look. For the one who posted it. For that little Jay boy. Tell him how little how that little white boy you be sleeping with every night. You had, had, had your dick in her mouth. Oh, I got a video me fucking. Huh? You got a video you fucking, huh? Yeah. Hey, stop playing me, old hating ass. Okay. Hating on me for you niggas, man. I don't pay attention to no nigga. Jack Boy responded on IG when he says he doesn't care about the beef and says that all of YB's homies are broke. Hey, I bought my own diamonds, you man. Look, man, I see his homeboy tone, man. So in a bit, we ain't worried about fucking no bitch, man. We drive for him, man. This is my car, man. Get your dog a car, man. Get your dog a motherfucking car, man. This is my shit, man. This, I pay for this, man. This ain't your dog wearing Nikes, man. Get dude out them fucking Nikes, man. Get dude out them fucking Nikes, man. Get dude out them fucking Nikes, man. All your homeboys broke as a bitch, man. You ain't giving your niggas no money, man. Get out the motherfucking Nikes, man. You ain't giving your niggas no money, oh. All you niggas won't play basketball. We in the NFL, bitch. My niggas made it to the NFL, dumbass boy. You be on my dog, man. You done stole a nigga whole dance. Now you trying to call that your dance. Man, get off a nigga, man. You nigga, you talking about a They don't give a f about no man. Niggas do not get no f about no You steady coming out here infecting these hoes, you dumbass boy. You infecting these boy. F you talking about, man. Man, you dumbass, man. Get your, you get a car, man. Them niggas don't even got a car, man. You niggas walking, man. Walking, man. All your dogs walking, man. All your dogs walking, man. All your dogs walking, man. Living in your back room, man. Come on, man. Get the boys out the back room, man. Get the boys out the back room, man. Them boys don't got no money. Them boys wearing Nike, man. Why is them boys still wearing Nike, man? I'm dripping Dior, po My my dog, my dog in jail, man. I'm still, I'm still coming. When you go to jail, them niggas, I'm talking about them niggas. Them niggas ready to suck the world. Them niggas jumping click to click, nigga. Talking about. Them niggas jumping click to click, trying to trying to find a way, nigga. Fuck you talking about y'all niggas can't SG route, nigga. Come on, y'all route. Fuck you talking about all your homeboys jumping click to click, trying to find a way, man. Every time you get locked up, your dogs jump click to click, man. Tell them niggas get out them goddamn Nikes, man. God damn, dumbass, man. And tell them boy go get a car, man. Baby Joe and NBA Ben 10 would take to IG to respond to Jack Boy calling them broke. I choose to wear my Nike. And I don't know how to drive, so I don't got no go. 
I don't look for my little brother to give me nothing with y'all niggas. We have a nigga to give y'all off. Then he said, nigga, wear Nike. That's what I like. That's what I want to wear. Nike. So can I wear my Nike? Please. Can I wear my Nike? See, LeBron wear Nikes. Kobe wear Nikes. See, all the basketball players wear Nikes. See, nigga got money. I'm talking about Nike and shit. I'm Nike down, I don't give them up. Fuck, fucking nigga, me. And I with them black bitches, you know, down. That nigga got on Instagram talking about cars and shit. First of all, I got your fucking car inside my ear. Second of all, I got that in my mouth, I ain't no rapping. Third of all, I'm a street. I dig and run the cars all day long. I tear your shit up. Fourth of all, I got six, seven chains. Fifth of all, my brother got, what, 10 cars. Damn near two million dollars in jury. Two, three, f hey, come on. Young boy then posted a story on IG dissing Yak, saying, "Oh yeah, you proved you a bitch. You clout chasing now. You can't get no more attention, bitch. You ain't no gangster." YB then took to Twitter to call out Kodak further, saying, "You deserve to be stepped on with that clout chasing." Shit. To which Kodak replied under the tweet, "Boy, shut up." You ain't stepping on nothing. After that, someone on Kodak's team went live on IG whilst Kodak was on the phone live from prison, which is where Kodak would publicly respond to Youngboy, allegedly threatening him if he keeps talking about stepping on him and tells him to cut that out. Okay. Yeah, man. I ain't really on that, man. I ain't really, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't really doing shit. Man, my brother told me, my, 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 my brother told me, he told me, uh, cut his lane shit out. On November 13th, 2020, Youngboy dropped his project Until I Return, and on the track Top Say, it's speculated that he took shots at Kodak and his ex-girlfriend Rose Gold. My bad for bumping your music when I was young, I ain't know you was just a hating I met I was f***ing out when I saw that post on the same After that, things died down and Kodak was finally released from prison on January 20th, 2021, after Donald Trump commuted his prison sentence. A couple months later, on May 14th, 2021, Kodak Black dropped his project, Haitian Boy Kodak. And on the track, Dirty K, he mentions Young Boy, but he changed his pace and actually says he's gonna call him to see what all the fussing is about to squash their beef. My little brother, Young Boy, told me he look up to me. I don't know why we even feeling like it's during this time, Youngboy was still locked up, so no response from him. Fast forward to December 22nd, 2021, while Youngboy was on Clubhouse, he was asked about Kodak, in which he had this to say. So how you feel about when Kodak said that shit about you? Um, when he was saying that you was his little brother, it could have been different and shit. You say when he was saying I was his what? He, when you said you was your, he was your little brother, where you was his little brother and shit like that. Man, I'm gonna tell you something, bro. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. I ain't, I ain't never told nobody. Man, shout that I was prayed. I was prayed into. I was prayed into. I was prayed into a soul. So I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna never have no problem with my just don't want to talk. Shit, mm -hmm. it, it, man, that's a man. He got a. Oh, I'm pretty sure him he ain't tripping. He don't when he don't want to talk, he don't want to talk, but I don't want to talk. In August of 2022, it was announced that NBA Youngboy signed an alleged $60 million deal with Cash Money Records. Kodak, who was also signed to Atlantic, took to IG Live to say he wants a $60 million deal as well. Look, young boy about to, he about to fulfill his deal. I'm, I'm, I'm fulfilling my deal too. I definitely can't let. I definitely can't let him be out his deal and moving on and get into that real, real bag. And I just be sitting back and, and just still in my fucking deal. No. Mm -mm. I'm done too. Me and, me and Jet done. You heard, man? So, yeah. I see Jet talking about some 60 million shit. So, 
I need my six one. Fans would perceive this as Kodak just being jealous of Youngboy, so the trolls began in Kodak's comments section. He put out a series of tweets ranting about Youngboy's fans writing Why Be Better under all of his posts. Bruh, I like Youngboy music, it's just this dude's fans, homie, or whoever the f behind all this hashtag Why Be Better sh that sh be irritating and can't nobody else say they don't feel me. A dude too real. I ain't hating on no fing body. I just say what everybody else scared to say. Kodak followed up this tweet by going live on IG that day to clarify that he isn't hating on Youngboy, he just hates how his fans are trolling him. So shit like that, they real women, and they have pictures that was coming from a real nigga looking on their motherfucking comments, everything when they post nigga like deep man fans talking about like this battle. Oh, you fell low, blah, 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 battle, blah, blah, battle. They don't want to see that. Shit every fucking day, I, mean, I ain't the type of nigga gonna sit right and act like that shit cool, bitch. Y'all get off my shit, I man. Instead of talking about, oh, what you call the belt or what you call belt or bitch, you bitch, you, know, you f with a nigga, I'm gonna tell them people tighten down, like, man, y'all get off. Y'all who come in, that shit, everybody be on shit. But, bro, that I f bro, like, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Back. Young boy would subliminally respond a couple of days later when he made a post to Instagram issuing a statement about completing his Atlantic Records contract. At the end of the post, he said, P.S. You don't like my fans? I don't like you, p A couple months later, on October 7th, 2022, Kodak Black was scheduled to drop his fifth studio album, Cutthroat Bill Volume 1. NBA Youngboy was also scheduled to drop his mixtape, 3800 Degrees, on that same day. Kodak would actually end up pushing his album back and tweeted, You little <laughs> thought I was dropping at midnight? Nope. That day, Youngboy dropped the 3800 Degrees mixtape, and on the track Head Busted, he actually sent subliminal shots at Kodak when he says he doesn't mess with Gremlins, which is a dig at Kodak, calling himself that on his hit song, Super Gremlin. Bitch, I'm cut to my after that, things went quiet until January 13th, 2023, a video surfaced of Kodak Black on a FaceTime call with NBA Youngboy. After this, fans believed that after several years, this beef was finally patched up. But on May 12th, 2023, NBA Youngboy dropped this project, Richest Op. And on the track, Slimes Go Where I Go, he sent alleged subliminals at Kodak Black. At this point, I don't think these two will ever coincide and be friends like they once were. Moneybag Yo and NBA Youngboy have a history that dates all the way back to 2016, and they started off as good friends. On October 21st, 2016, NBA Youngboy dropped his mixtape Mind of a Menace 3, and on the track Just Made a Play, Moneybag Yo is a feature on the track. They followed up with another collab song on August 11th, 2017 called Reckless, so it seems as if their friendship was fine, but around late 2017 is where things went sour. There's a couple of rumors as to how this beef began. The first is that this beef started over a dice game. The second rumor is that Moneybag Yo's label didn't pay Youngboy at all for the project they did together. The other rumor as to how this beef started is that one of Moneybag Yo's homies allegedly ran down on Youngboy and his brother OG3 at one of YB shows backstage. None of this is confirmed and all just speculation. On November 17th, 2017, NBA Youngboy and Moneybag Yo's collaboration mixtape Fed Babies dropped, and on the night of the release, Youngboy took to Instagram and made a video not supporting the mixtape and says that he wants all the smoke. Man, that tape, and I want smoke. I ain't playing on my son. Fuck all y'all too, and the pussy that's on the about this. My third day baby two come and suck my. This is when Moneybag Yo and Youngboy's beef would become public, which left fans really confused. Shortly after that, in December, Youngboy posted a photo of him and Moneybag Yo to Instagram with the caption, Cross me up with that dude that was my brother. Now it's f them both. Turn up for bodies like a show. F this rap, I ain't going broke. Hashtag one love. On December 10th, 2017, NBA Youngboy dropped a track called Chosen One with Kodak Black. Now, it's speculated that Moneybag Yo was actually supposed to be the feature on this track, but after their beef popped off, 
Young Boy replaced him with Kodak. A couple months later, Moneybag Yo finally explained the situation when he was on a promo run for his mixtape called Too Heartless. He did an interview with The Breakfast Club on February 12th, 2018. When Angela Yee asked him about his beef with NBA Youngboy, he would go on to say that there was actually someone in the middle of their friendship that broke it apart and that they haven't talked after that, but he hopes to resolve the issues. A couple days later, Moneybag Yo did another interview, and when he was asked about his relationship with NBA Youngboy, he simply said that they're cool. So look, what, what's, your, what's your relationship? I always wanted to know, what's your relationship with, like, with uh, NBA Youngboy? Uh, we we cool. Okay. We're pretty cool. We got together because it, cool. it was like a something that was going yeah, on. Yeah, I ain't yeah. really nosy like that, but I just know people want to know. No, nah, everybody asked that. Nah, cool. Nah, cool. Okay. Yeah, nah. On February 14th, 2018, Moneybag Yo dropped his mixtape Too Heartless. And on the track Fed Babies, which is the name of him and Youngboy's collab tape, he airs out his feelings towards Youngboy. Moneybag wasn't dissing Youngboy. He actually seemed empathetic and saddened by the way things went. He spoke about how he tried to call Youngboy, but he didn't respond to his call, and that he never told Yo Gotti about the beef. Can't you like the man I am, I never told Gotti what happened. Testing calls, you didn't respond. Moneybag also references a time where a guy named Courtney approached Youngboy at Icebox, and when he went to defend him, Youngboy allegedly stopped him from doing so. He even still shows love to Youngboy's camp when he references Baby Joe, Ben 10, and 3. Got you a monkey on GP, still love Joe Ben in 3, 3. Things went quiet, but five months later, on June 23rd, 2018, NBA Youngboy and Moneybag Yo linked up in LA, in which Moneybag posted a photo of them on IG and captioned it, Fed Babies 2, hinting a sequel to their mixtape, so it seems as if this beef was resolved, but that wasn't exactly the case as things were about to get ugly. Months later, on December 17th, 2018, NBA Youngboy's crew and Moneybag Yo's crew got into an altercation at a mall in LA. The altercation started when Moneybag Yo and his goons allegedly ran down on three, who was a part of YB's camp. Afterwards, one of Youngboy's homies went live on IG to call out Moneybag Yo and his crew as he banned them from coming to New Orleans. Man, f the whole bread gang camp. You heard me? F money bag, yo. You, you gonna play with my little brother, but you ain't gonna play with that who your label mate is. You heard me? You, you, you can't even go to the headquarters to the CMG headquarters to get your plaques because you're scared you're gonna run into mother black youngster. But you gonna play with my mother the brothers? I'm gonna see you. You heard me? It's hey, look, I'm in my mother city right now, and I want to be known. Money bag, you. You can't come to New Orleans, dawg. I'm really telling you bad rappers, y'all can't come to New Orleans, bruh. That goes for the first nigga that said, and that goes for your You hear me? Y'all really play with my little brothers, you hear me? Two months later, after this incident, on February 18th, 2019, Moneybag Yo linked up with Youngboy's biggest op, Fredo Bang, to drop the track Story to Tell in which Youngboy wouldn't respond. Things went quiet, but in early 2021, a song that NBA Youngboy made called Cold Blooded had a snippet that ended up leaking. On this track, Youngboy dissed Moneybag Yo, where Youngboy called him out for telling his CEO Yo Gotti that he drew down on him, and then he told Moneybag Yo stories about bodies he allegedly caught. Boy, you a you told your guy that I drew down on you. See, Bo can't say you, I catch you, I'm going down on you. On April 23rd, 2021, Moneybag Yo dropped his album, Against His Pain. And on the track, I Believe You, he sent subliminal shots back at Youngboy when he had this to say. Just yeah, cause you told me about bodies don't mean I believe you, my nigga. What's up with you? Fellow Louisiana rapper Jada Youngin was involved in a very deadly beef with NBA Youngboy, which there's two rumors to how this beef came about. The first is that Jada Youngin posted a snippet of a song with Youngboy in which YB didn't approve of him posting it. And the second rumor is that Jada Youngin was talking to Jania, 
which is the true reason why this beef started. Jada Youngin and Youngboy's history started off back in 2016. Jada Youngin had been a fan of YB for a long time, as early as 2016. This led to Youngboy and Jada Youngin to become friends and record some music together. On October 28th, 2016, they dropped their first collab song called Up With Me, so it seemed as if they were developing a good friendship. On June 2nd, 2017, Jada Youngin collabed with Youngboy's brother 3 on the track No Mask, and several members from Youngboy's camp appeared in some of Jada Youngin's music videos. A rumor sparked that he was beefing with Youngboy for allegedly sneak dissing him, but this was all false as Jada Youngin cleared the confusion in an interview with Vlad, saying that him and YB got music on the way. And 2019 would be where this relationship would go sour. NBA Youngboy's baby mama Jania would begin commenting under Jay Youngin's IG post with hard eyes, trying to flirt, but Jay quickly took to Instagram to post a story saying, I don't want that bitch, to make it clear that he wasn't gonna do anything with Youngboy's ex. NBA Youngboy allegedly texted Jay Youngin, telling him to stop messing with Jania, and YB wanted Jay to cut her off, in which Jay De Youngin agreed to cut her off. Jay De Youngin actually lied about this, and he allegedly continued talking to Jania behind Youngboy's back. This beef really kicked off on May 15th, 2019, when Jay De Youngin posted a snippet of a track that him and Youngboy had recorded called So Long, with the caption, I think it's time to do right. Tell at NBA Youngboy to drop Big 38. Big 23. Youngboy was not happy about JD Youngin posting the snippet without his approval, so he commented under the post saying, Delete this shit. I don't know how the f you even got my song. I don't f around like that. JD Youngin was confused, so he took to his IG story to post screenshots of his alleged DMs with Youngboy's homie Baba, which he ended up getting YB's number from him. And then he posted a screenshot of an alleged text with Youngboy himself. The text messages started off with a verse which YB said, You f with this bitch. That bitch gangster, bro. You preaching. Let me chew that second verse. When you did that last night, who beat Dubba A? He do all my shit, really. So that's when JD Youngin sent an audio file back saying, This bitch straight? And YB said, hell yeah. Now, NBA Youngboy would take to Twitter moments later to say that JD Youngin was texting a fake number and that wasn't him on those text messages. He also said that Baba actually doesn't have an Instagram when he tweeted, Baba don't got no Instagram and bitch, stop talking to them fake ass numbers. JD Youngin saw this tweet, so he posted another screenshot with more text messages allegedly with NBA Youngboy and wrote, somebody faking real good. Youngboy wouldn't respond because the the next day, on May 17th, 2019, NBA Youngboy was arrested after violating probation, which he was sentenced to 90 days in jail. Three weeks later, in June 2019, JD Youngin hopped on IG Live to address the situation with NBA Youngboy when he dissed him, saying that he doesn't care about that song, and if YB doesn't mess with him, then he doesn't mess with him either. So mama got this stupid. Your dad and your grandma too, they passed it down. You got this too. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. That song. That song. Nigga don't. Me on. Nigga. Come. Everybody. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna choose a side. You better choose a side. Young boy's homie, Baby Joe, got wind of this, so he made a video responding to Jada Youngin, saying that he waited until YB went to jail to diss him. Oh, it's me again. I got exposed to show the world if a nigga really says You know, y'all wait till nigga go to jail to talk all that raw this to all you niggas. All you niggas are hoes. What up with that? Come on, man. That should be lowering me. Like, come on, my nigga. What's up? What's sound? If it's smoke, it's smoke, but let it be smoke. Don't wait till nobody go to jail and go on Instagram and rah rah talk. That's 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 to me. That's so to me, my nigga. JD Youngin clapped back on IG Live, saying that he always be in their sections and further calls out YB's crew. I'll be in all y'all sections, and then all y'all other out of town niggas. Y'all niggas on man. Y'all niggas do. Expiration dates, bro. Like, everybody. What you on? Me, that's how it's gonna go. I don't give a what y'all talking about, talking about this and that, and did this and uh, stop being tickets. 
I said what the f I said, I don't give a f what y'all talking about. I don't give a f who y'all talking about. What y'all talking about? F a nigga. You a f about no f out of man. Y'all tripping. Nigga. Tell nigga come see me. For real. That's how easy this. Baby Joe would follow up by commenting under Jade Youngin's IG post, calling him a clown, in which Jay told him, get your bomb ass on. NBA Ken got involved when he took to IG saying, why dudes want to talk shit when my brother go to jail? 23, a slow boy, and whoever else. 23, of course, being the number that Jade Youngin reps, so this was a clear shot at him, but Ken wasn't finished. He posted another story saying, Dude was so happy when he thought he had that feature. Someone else from Young Boys Camp posted a story dissing Jada Youngin saying, Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all never heard Big 23 until y'all heard Big 38. On June 11th, 2019, Baby Joe was on IG Live, where Jada Youngin would be in the live commenting, calling him a rat, and a bunch of other things. Young Boys homie Baby Joe revealed that the beef with Jada Youngin actually didn't start over him posting YB song. It actually was, in fact, because of Jania because Youngboy knew that they were hanging out the whole time, and that month, photos would surface of J.D. Youngin and Youngboy's ex, Jania. So it seemed as if YB was right about them messing with each other. J.D. Youngin once again hopped back on IG Live shortly after and responded, where he would actually accuse Youngboy of being a snitch. Y'all stop this babe, for real, y'all. Hey, somebody that gave this police's phone, he the wet lab, man. Y'all just, babe, get the phone from that police that Y'all niggas need to stop this shit, man. Y'all niggas is commercial as a bitch. Say, hey, what the woo, no, the woo, no. Told me to add him now. I ain't tell you to add me. I ain't tell your police to add me, man. You tripping. You ain't talk about me, man. I don't even know you niggas like that, man. For real. Y'all niggas really be scary, dog. Nah. For real, y'all. 12. 6 plus 6. For real, all nah. this shit get crazy. Niggas mad at me because I'm talking. I don't wish jail on no nigga, I ain't never wish jail on no nigga. But I do not glorify rats. You hear me? I do not glorify rats. And that's what's wrong with everybody. They so confused. They be letting them fool them so fucking much. Somebody talking though. Ah. Somebody talking, man. This shit, hey, this shit getting real. I'm smoke my bag, well, sell my tea, and watch this shit though. You know, yeah. But look though, I don't wish jail on no nigga, man. Real nigga, real nigga. This nigga's a bitch. This shit need to be separated though. You know, yeah. And the nigga wanna say. I did this, I wanna be like this. My been started my own shit. You know that big 23 shit. I've been, I been saying that shit. I've been doing it. I've been standing on that shit. I've been standing on that big 23 shit, you know. And then a nigga wanna say, oh, this what this shit about, this what this shit about, ooh, the woo, man, this shit about a bitch. Niggas want, hey, this what that shit really about, this shit about a bitch. This wanna take it though. Shit, y'all won't really take it though like that. This shit about a bitch. I ain't no real nigga still be getting mad and still be throwing bitches and crosses and shit. Man, y'all lame as Man, y'all weak. That ain't no street shit, man. That ain't no real shit. Everybody know what this shit about. This shit is about a bitch. A nigga call another phone and talk about, ah, oh, they tell that nigga when I see him, it's on site, it's up. Man, you, man, you just came to my show shaking your ass a couple months ago, man. Like, so what this shit about? I ain't did you shit. But as soon as this picture with this bitch get uploaded, oh, man, it's smoke, man. That nigga pussy, that nigga bitch, man. That nigga, oh, man, that nigga fuck, man, nah. All that, man. You nigga. Tripper. After this, on July 23rd, 2019, Jania actually leaked alleged text messages between her and Jada Youngin after she was trying to make Jada Youngin's new girlfriend jealous because they were going back and forth. Live your life, be happy with who you're with, all love. And Jada Youngin allegedly wrote, Jania, you know I want to be with you. So as you can tell, things were heating up in this whole situation with Jania, Jada Youngin, and his new girlfriend. A couple weeks later, on August 15th, 2019, NBA Youngboy was released from prison and would begin his 14-month house arrest sentence. Just a few weeks later, J.D. Youngin was doing a show where he would seemingly diss Youngboy and his crew on stage when he said, Fuck 38, which, as you know, is the street that Youngboy grew up on, and it's a number that he always reps. Two days later, on September 2nd, 2019, Quando Rondo and NBA Ben 10 hopped on IG Live where they responded to J.D. Youngin when they told Youngin Ace that they don't mess with his homie, referring to J.D. Youngin, because at the time, Youngin Ace and J.D. Youngin were tight. 
Man, hey, Quando, hey, say fuck you. He say fuck you, not y'all. He say fuck you. Tell Ace I said fuck his homeboy. Oh, yeah. Fuck that. Ace, I already know it. We ain't going to bring that up. You got these, man? Let me just that pressure. <laughs> Le hey, say. Let go wipe the nose as you sneeze. Stop playing. Hey. Ace homeboy looked at like a fucking oh, I'm about to shut your bitch ass up, boy. <laughs> you a fucking ass. Hey, he's a dick rider. A DRG for people in the back going over what that is. Riding goon. Shout out him. Say, Kwando. What up, baby, bro? That bandits from the wreck. That nigga bandits from uh, the family. That nigga bandits from the family. I think I eat a band for that A. They better not go to that A, you heard me? Look, I'm banned this shit, you hear me? You hear me? You hear me? Big ass side shit. <laughs> you that net, oh, 23. 23. Nigga, yeah. You gonna end up getting canceled with this scare ass. A couple days later, on September 5th, 2019, J.D. Youngin hopped on IG Live and clapped back at Quando Rondo, saying that Quando used to be all up in his DMs and called Quando a baby. I do not know that bitch. I thought he used to work at Popeyes. He had come telling me about the shit. That nigga was the old Popeyes worker last time I know. But he be all in my d though. That other little boy keep begging for the feature where he, where he was all sending everybody to my DM and shit. The DJ guy, whatever his name is, the DJ nigga. The nigga who used to uh, play the songs for the club and shit. He need to stop fucking rapping, man. Y'all need to tell that man stop making that music. Y'all embarrassing that man. And the nigga, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, the little D riding nigga, the, the baby. Uh, not the baby, not the rapper, the baby, the uh, the, the Ride nigga, man. He a little kid, bro. He be big ride niggas. He got a daddy. Uh, Quando, that's his name. Damn. He used to be on my dick almost every week in my deal trying to get a feature and shit. I don't even like speaking on this, but nigga be uh, taking this shit to another level and shit with the internet. So we're going to let the internet know the truth about you, nigga. Gonna beat me so bad. Just keep it real. I birthed you. That's why you was on my d trying to get that feature, get that feature so bad. Sending all your big dogs and all these other David G and everybody. Sending them to come ask how much I charge for a feature. I really ain't want to work with you, but damn, you were so much of a fan. You were telling this man I'm your favorite rapper and shit. The next month, on October 11th, 2019. NBA Youngboy dropped his project AI Youngboy 2. On the same day, JD Youngin dropped his project Misunderstood. I'm not sure if it was intentional for them to drop on the same day, but on the track Spray For Me, JD Youngin allegedly sent subliminal shots at NBA Youngboy, and this is officially where this beef would go on wax. A month later, on November 7th, 2019, Baby Joe went live on IG with Young and Ace to clear the air saying that he messes with Young and Ace and that everything is cool between them. Things went quiet for a couple of more months, but in 2020 is where this beef would get very serious. On March 8th, 2020, NBA Big B was live on Instagram when JD Youngin was in the comments calling him broke. A couple weeks later, on March 23rd, 2020, JD Youngin was live on Instagram when he would put the camera on his homies, in which one of them said that he's smoking on Dump, in which he's referring to NBA Youngboy's former agent, Big Dump, who passed away just a couple of years prior. Hey, for real though, man. Put this on live, man. We smoking on dump. <laughs> why is he playing? What? His stupid fat ass was slow. He that's why. Come on, grabbing all on me. Okay, oh, I was trying to show you his flesh, the flesh and the blunt. A couple days later, on April first, two thousand and twenty. One of Jada Youngin's homies hopped on IG Live and burnt an NBA Youngboy shirt with a gun in his hand. I was like, oh man, you ready to go to grid, huh? You about to put that bitch. 
Yeah. That big burn. During this time, Kodak Black was beefing with NBA Youngboy after accusing him of snitching on his then fiance Yaya Mayweather. So Jade Youngin gave his take when he reposted one of Kodak's posts on Instagram and said, Free Kodak and keep rats which he was referring to Youngboy as a rat. Baby Joe would once again respond to this when he reposted an IG post of J.D. Youngin saying he's a fan of Youngboy and wrote, He just so pissy too. You are a fanboy since you wouldn't hit dick all day, lame ass. In which J.D. Youngin would post a story of his own responding to Baby Joe saying, Baby Joe slash you broke as a bitch. You got a whole daddy. You ain't even got 10 bands of your own sh Take care of your son before he have a good stepdaddy. That's going to do it. I know y'all dudes starving. That's why y'all mad at me. You can call me a lot of shit, but I ain't broke. Where your fucking car, bum? This led to a back and forth between them on IG Live. Stop. Get on Instagram. Like you stand high up. Take care of my son. Everybody own this bitch. No. Everybody own this bitch. No, my son. Well taken care of. If he with me or not with me, my son. Well taken care of. Every fucking chance. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I beg for my baby. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Wait, speak facts, huh? Don't, 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 don't. Get on here, man. Hey. This is a whole nother, hey, that's a whole nother level, so. Y'all know all that lame ass shit. Y'all know all that lame ass shit. You a dick rider because you're coming off a queso. You a dick rider because you're coming off a queso. I get it, Queso, you the only, Queso, the only one I know ever came out and just disrespecting the homeboy who ain't living. Yeah, that's Queso, that's Queso swag. You dick, hold that nigga. You dick, hold that nigga. And you click, man, I ain't, come on, let's stop playing with you. You dick, hold that nigga. That's why you doing all that. Tell that nigga I'm stupid for him. I know I'm stupid, he stupid ass boy. Thank you with your dick. You know, stop playing with me, son. I really do this shit, son. I'm really a vulture. Baby Joe, you need to get your bum off live. And go get you some fucking money. Because you broke as a bitch, you ain't got shit. I don't even know why you speaking on my name. You broke, you ain't got shit. You ain't living like that for real. All that shit you doing, all that shit you saying, all that, all that shit you did, that shit ain't. Man, you ain't fooling nobody with that shit. Man, you gonna have to come, you gonna have to come short. Or something, man. That shit, that shit too. Yeah, don't believe in all that y'all be talking about. And you steady pulling another grown man. You steady ripping off another man work, ripping off another man accomplishment, ripping off another man shit, man. That's man, that's some bad shit. What you got for yourself? Show me what you got for yourself. You ain't got shit. I know you ain't got shit. You ain't even got no fucking car to go pick your son up in. How the f your son gonna Your son can't even call his dad and tell him to f gonna pick him up. You can't even go pick him up because you ain't got shit to go get him in. You gotta go get a ride to go get your own fing son. And you speaking on me on live. Come on, man. You gotta go up, son. You gotta go up, son. Y'all niggas gotta do better. That shit sad. Y'all niggas gotta do better. Y'all be really worried about 23. All y'all look, all y'all all y'all, all y'all the kids be worried about what 23 doing. Y'all be on my bed. I be seeing that shit. Y'all be waiting on me to say some shit. And then as soon as I say some shit, y'all wanna make it seem like I'm cloud chasing or reaching out on somebody or some shit like that. I don't give a fuck about what no nigga doing because ain't no nigga helping me at the end of the day. Ain't no nigga giving me shit. Nigga never gave me shit. So I don't give a fuck about no nigga. I'm a real nigga. I stand on everything. You hear me? Ain't no nigga gonna play with me. Ain't no nigga gonna disrespect me and just feel like that shit. Slash shit no. <clears throat> I really like that. Jade Younger would then go back on IG Live later that night and leak what would be alleged DMs of Quando Rondo asking Jade Youngin for a feature. Hey, hey any of y'all I try to help I try to put niggas on. I ain't never try to, you know. Niggas try to try to pay me for shit. I be doing shit for free for niggas. Try to get on the video and all. It's a prime example right here. Like, hold on, my screen dirty as a b right now. This one of my kids right here. They yeah, ain't on good terms right now, but. I don't know, you can 
تفسیر trying to get the feature bad like David G was telling me like damn he say um he say you and LG fan y'all his favorite rappers man he listen to y'all every day he really want to get a feature with you he want he really want to get a feature with you I was trying to, I was gonna charge him in it. Like, I ain't even, I'm like, damn, I do. Kept calling me, everybody kept calling me, telling me he want a feature with me and shit, he want to fuck with me. I'm like, damn. I took, like, I see he couldn't afford the price, so I was trying to charge him as low as I could. Like, damn, fuck it. Just give me, just give me anything, fuck, basically. I seen he couldn't afford it, but he kept hitting me up, trying to fuck with me. So I'm like, damn. Quando Rondo got wind of this, so he took to Twitter to respond, saying, Y'all still support a dude that rapped that gangster sh but got his sh took twice. And he ran from me and Lil Tim at the bank on my daughter. Jada Youngin would clap back on Twitter in a series of tweets, saying, I ain't never ran from sh but my problems, and I ate you on your own song, Goofy. You a whole dick rider with big teeth quando you my son for real you begged me for a feature damn near two years straight after this jada youngin had enough of baby joe quando rondo young boy and the rest of his camp so on april 8th 2020 jada youngin dropped a diss track called 38k which means 38 killer on this track jada youngin went real disrespectful when he aired out the truth behind the beef exposing that it's over jania he also brought up that comment that young boy put on his post of the snippet of their song. You put that comment on my post, they laughed about this shit. Jay also took shots at Baby Joe as he threatened young boy and his camp. And I know I real they call him Baby Joe Smoke. We don't go. Jada Youngin also brought up the time where young boy's other ex-girlfriend allegedly cheated on young boy with him in hotel room 303. Try to suck my dick in room 303, the nasty the next day on April 9th, Jade Youngin followed this up with a tweet dissing Youngboy's ex-girlfriend, Kayla Marie, once again saying, K, bitch, you know you begged to eat my dick. Bad breath, ass, room 303. NBA Youngboy would finally respond in May 2020 when he hopped on IG Live, previewing a song that we would later know as Top Say. And on this track, he throws shots at Jade Youngin, mentioning when Jay wanted to hop on the verse of his song. <laughs> A week later, J.D. Youngin was promoting his upcoming project, Baby23, so he posted on Twitter on May 30th, 2020, saying, Baby23, one week away, in which Quando Rondo replied to the tweet, getting real disrespectful, saying, I hope your baby die. Quando would then tweet about his girl cheating on him, saying, then this bitch cheated on me last week since she wanna talk, in which J.D. Youngin replied to this tweet, saying, damn, that's f***ed up probably was room 303 and if y'all don't know room 303 is where jd youngin and youngboy's ex allegedly hooked up as mentioned on his diss track nba youngboy would then get wind of this so that same day nba youngboy and his crew actually pulled up on jd youngin and his crew and allegedly jd youngin didn't want to hop out of the car so jay drove off leaving his homies behind later that evening nba youngboy would post about the situation calling out J.D. Youngin when he went on his infamous rant exposing Jay for allegedly leaving his crew behind and calls out his ex-girlfriends for allegedly hooking up with J.D. Youngin. He nigga bitches for one and fuck these dyking ass fuck the two nads nigga give a fuck about none of that you bitches be hiding we real head hunters man come on man niggas open their mouth nigga came to where they was man and you caught the kid and left in the hole and left another nigga fat man in the blind oh bitch. We, man, you nigga know what up with me, man. Little bitch, and I said that, nigga, know we cloud the whole thing. Nigga, check the news, you know what up with me. I'm the top. JD Youngin would respond to this with a series of Instagram stories saying that he didn't leave his homies behind. Man, somebody need to come take both of you phone. One of you nigga screaming on the phone like a mad well, like a bitch. Like you mad at the phone. The other nigga tweeting about a bitch like a on some lame shit, cause nigga done this bitch. Nigga's 
and you acting like the police man stop this shit bitch okay <laughs> Wando like Rondo would respond on a video calling out Jada Youngin for allegedly getting his jewelry stolen multiple times and says that he definitely has more money than him. People talk about I'm weird. Who the f sit up and talk about people they don't know? Why the f people be talking about me? I don't even know you. And listen, cuz you got your shit took two fucking times. You down there go to prison and get your ass took. You get so much shit took from me. <laughs> and I bet you ain't got more money than me, bitch. NBA Ben 10 would then post a story on IG saying, We gonna catch you. In which JD Youngin replied, Stop tagging me in that police ass shit. A couple days later, on June 5th, 2020, NBA Big B dropped a project called Thoughts of a Demon, in which Quando Rondo posted it to Instagram, but would get real disrespectful when he dissed Jada Youngin's newborn child with the caption, swipe left to see that ugly ass alien at the real Jordan B just had, and the next picture was Jada Youngin holding his newborn child. On June 9th, 2020, Jania would hop on IG Live to address everyone saying Room 303 to her, and she clarified that Jay wasn't talking about her. Like I said earlier, it was about Youngboy's other ex-girlfriend, Kaylin Marie. Everybody with this 303, Room 303, Room 303, he wasn't talking about me. So move around. Thanks. On September 11th, 2020, NBA Youngboy dropped his album Top, and on the track Dead Trolls, he allegedly sent shots at JD Youngin. The beef would go quiet until April 2021, when JD Youngin would go live with another rapper named Lil Ivy Jr. And during the live, Lil Ivy allegedly dissed Big Dump. On June 26, 2021, Baby Joe was involved in a shooting in Baton Rouge, where he would be reportedly shot after two vehicles exchanged gunfire on Interstate 10. J.D. Youngin actually liked a picture reporting this news. On August 4th, 2021, Cuban Doll would accuse J.D. Youngin of texting guys, so YB's close friend Herm reposted this and wrote, That's why he keep all them dudes around? Later that month, there were headlines that Lil Tim and Quando Rondo were allegedly in the studio with 6 9 and an alleged video of them in the studio together would surface. A rumor spread that it was actually not Lil Tim in the studio with 6 9 and it was J.D. Youngin's homie, Top Boy Mari, who is actually from the same hood as Quando Rondo. Top Boy Mari would take to IG to deny that he was in the studio with 6 9 and would call out Quando Rondo and Lil Tim for allegedly spreading this rumor. Cap season, man. Don't holler Cap Street. This wasn't in the studio for me, you see what I'm saying? Them niggas in the studio for you, nigga Lil Tim and Quando, you see what I'm saying? That's who they was in the studio with 6 9 for. It wasn't in no studio with Top Boy. So don't say. Cap seasons, cap streets, you see what I'm saying? A couple days later, Quando Rondo would respond to Top Boy Mari, telling him to keep his name out of his mouth and threaten to slap him. Man, cut, tell that nigga Mari, man, keep your name out of his mouth. This nigga, I ain't even been in Savannah. Man, I ain't you using my name for clout. I slap you. You just been in my DM begging me. You talking about it selling they soul for money. Later that year, on December 5th, 2021, NBA Youngboy, Quando Rondo, and Lil Tim were on a clubhouse with a bunch of females, and amongst those females was none other than Jordan B, aka JD Youngin's baby mama, so it seemed as if Youngboy got his revenge on JD Youngin for hanging out with his baby mamas. After the clubhouse call, Jordan B tweeted saying, Come here, Kentrell. So this was definitely a checkmate play here by NBA Youngboy to get back at J.D. Youngin. The next year, on July 27th, 2022, J.D. Youngin was in his hometown of Bogalusa, Louisiana, around 5.50 p.m. with his father sitting in their front yard. A black truck pulled up when three people hopped out with guns. J.D. Youngin and his father tried running inside, but two more people approached the property, and that's when shots would be fired, and allegedly his mother was present. Both J.D. Youngin and his father were shot. When J.D. Youngin would be rushed to the hospital, he underwent surgery, but passed away in the hospital while his father survived. Also breaking right now, two people were shot tonight in Bogalusa. 
Sources are telling us one of the victims is a rapper with a long criminal history who goes by J. Dodd Youngin. The family of the victim, Devoria Scott, known as Jay the Youngin, they say that he was standing outside of his home on Superior Avenue when someone opened fire, killing the rap artist. You know he didn't see the campus with no brains. Elsie Jefferson says he's devastated at the news that his grandson, 24-year-old Javaria Scott, also known as Jada Youngett, was murdered Wednesday night in his hometown of Bugalusa. Sick the news, you know what I mean, and it's tough. J.D. Youngin's father believed that the murder was a result of jealousy and that Jay didn't have beef with anyone so it wasn't gang related. On April 21st, 2023, NBA Youngboy dropped his album Don't Try This At Home and on the track Chop A Doctor, he allegedly shut down rumors that he had something to do with J.D. Youngin's death. I ain't kill that boy, go ex his boss for all that I know. Just a month later, on May 11th, 2023, NBA Youngboy dropped the track called Bitch Let's Do It. And on this track, he allegedly refers to J.D. Youngin being killed in front of his mother. You know I'm with a young boy, I kill that bitch front of his mom. This one might come as a surprise, but Drake and NBA Youngboy actually have tension behind the scenes. On May 12, 2023, NBA Youngboy dropped this project, Richest Op, and on the track, Fuck the Industry Part 2, YB addresses his ops. On the track, he allegedly sent shots at Drake. It all started when Jay Prince, who is a very close friend of Drake, actually put Youngboy and Drake on a FaceTime call together. According to Youngboy, Drake told him that he likes what he's doing, but can't work with him due to his ongoing beef with Lil Durk. As you know, Drake and Lil Durk collabed multiple times on songs like Laugh Now, Cry Later and In the Bible. Youngboy aired this out on this track when he said this. On the second verse, Youngboy continued sending shots at Drake when he clowned him for getting a face tattoo, accusing Drake of using hood culture to grow his fan base. After this, about a week later, Jay Prince posted a photo to Instagram of him, Youngboy, and Birdman, where he would address the situation with Drake, saying, To the little homie, as I said to you privately, I say to you publicly that Drake is my son. He rolled with me. Therefore, it's a good idea to take him off your enemy list, because the truth of the matter is, we got nothing but love for Dirk and your accomplishments. When I put Drake on that FaceTime call with you, my intent was for y'all to move forward, not backwards. Two things we get every day is a chance and a choice. The choices we make determine our destination. After that, nothing was publicly said on each side, but one can assume that there is a lot going on behind the scenes. In 2019, Alabama rapper No Cap signed with Never Broke Again as he became close with many 4K Trey members. And on May 28th, 2019, No Cap dropped his first mixtape for the label called The Back End Child. Later that year, on September 26th, 2019, No Cap would be charged with shooting into an occupied building after his sister got into an altercation with two other people. No Cap allegedly pulled up and started firing shots at the home of two people. Two warrants were issued for his arrest. No Cap ended up turning himself in on January 11th, 2021, where he would spend seven months behind bars before he was released on July 21st, 2021. There's a couple of rumors as to how Youngboy and No Cap's beef actually started. The first being that No Cap tweeted saying he wants to blow up on his own without using Youngboy for features. And the second, which I believe is the reason for the beef, is when No Cap would deny rumors that he dissed Lil Durk at a show. Fast forward to September 2nd, 2022. No Cap was doing a show in Nashville where he allegedly would diss Lil Durk on stage. TSU! Hey, hold up, I'm the real neighborhood hero. 
Rumors began circulating online of this diss, so no cap hopped on IG and confirmed that this wasn't a dig at Lil Durk when he posted a story saying, Word to the blogs, if y'all go and post something, post facts. Me and Durk might not conversate, but I don't speak on his name, he don't speak on mine. As you all know, at the time of this, Lil Durk and NBA Youngboy were enemies, so I believe Youngboy saw this as disloyal, the fact that he stood up for no cap when he's beefing with Lil Baby, but no cap sort of threw the rock and hit his hand with the Dirk situation, and he really wasn't riding for Youngboy. A couple months later, on November 7th, 2022, No Cap responded to a tweet that an NBA Youngboy fan page put out, telling him to drop some new sh** with Top, and he responded saying, Let me go up on my own first, because I don't need everybody saying I used Top to get big. We will do music later. NBA Youngboy saw this and got pissed because in Youngboy's eyes, if it wasn't for him and his label, No Cap wouldn't be where he is today. So No Cap saying he doesn't need him was seen as disrespectful in the eyes of NBA Youngboy. On November 18th, 2022, NBA Youngboy took to IG to call out No Cap on the Never Broke Again Instagram account when he said, I paid attention to all that slick ass shit you be doing and saying you a what I call a real rapper. We don't do music because I don't fuck with you. Stop speaking on me to these people. You my daddy artist. You a fucking worker, bitch. You ain't my brother. Fuck you. Pay me. Youngboy also made it clear that if No Cap wants a feature from Youngboy, he's gonna have to pay for it. No Cap would clap back on his IG story with a long paragraph basically saying that he stood by Youngboy for three years. Youngboy continued his IG rant with multiple stories. Jay-Z can't now rap me, boy. This ain't about no music. You just a scary bitch. I wanted revenge on the labels I'm holding over here. You ain't even got 300k for your tax bill, clown. Just protect yourself, pussy. You play industry chess, but just don't know this game ain't got no loyalty. These dudes gonna kill your ass. You ran with me because I was popping at the moment. Hit the fan, you couldn't even take a picture with Quando. You a bitch. Fuck you. Let your mama love you. Go make a song about it, bitch. Make me some money. The show must go on. It seems as if Youngboy already had a disdain towards No Cap to say all this out of nowhere, dating back to what I said earlier about the IG story No Cap posted about him and Dirk's relationship. And this was proven to be true because Youngboy brought that situation up basically confirming that this is why he doesn't like no cap on another IG story saying, you the same kid who had to clear their name when the internet made it seem like you dissed my op, obviously referring to Lil Durk. Why the fuck it would even matter if the pussy thought you was talking about him? You a bitch like I said, go make a song about it and go make me some money. The show must go on. I don't give a fuck what the internet think. You a bitch. Who made you a bitch? You gonna die a bitch, lol. I bet the girl you with right now can see you a bitch. You see through rainbow ass dude, tell your sister come paint my nails. You signed cause of Quando. Facts. You ain't shit without him. He the only one that can save you, honestly. You ain't never heard of the black sheep. So this all ties back to what I said about their beef and how Youngboy viewed it as no cap backing down from his op Lil Durk and how he saw that as disloyal, so all this was brewing for a while. No Cap would respond to Youngboy calling him broke, saying, My car 300k itself. Get your dog a lawyer, rich ass. Quando know who he can walk in the middle of New Orleans with. I ain't never ran from shit. Ask my mama. After this, NBA Youngboy's fans actually dug up old Facebook posts that No Cap made in 2017 before he blew up, where he was actually talking bad about Youngboy. A fan said, I listen to Youngboy 24-7, this man is great, in which No Cap replied saying, can't even listen to that boy for 30 minutes. Next dude say, why be go harder than Kodak? I'm slapping your mama down. After that, things went quiet. As far as this relationship, I don't see them coinciding anytime soon. If Youngboy feels you choosing sides against him, he automatically sees you as the opposition. NBA Youngboy and Bobby Shmurda were involved in a short beef. At first, Youngboy supported Bobby on his song Murder Gang off his project AI Youngboy in 2017. YB said, Free Bobby Shmurda. 
This beef all started in November 2022 when Rowdy Rebel, who is a close friend of Bobby, would appear on Matt Hova's podcast, My Expert Opinion, where Rowdy disagreed how Lil Tim immediately shot King Vaughn. When King Vaughn died, Lil Tim, he had to get out the car and start squeezing right away. Right. You already got your joint. Yo, back the fuck up. What y'all doing with Yeah, Back up my bro real quick. Right. For me, like, he could have went that route off the rip. But his mind off the rip went to kill. How you went to kill? How you? How much hate you had already to kill this man? Right. You feel what I'm saying? Was it the drugs? You had the upper hand to just clear the scene and just say, yo, chill. You had the upper hand was just like, yo, back this up and get your dog out of here. Right. Mm -hmm. But you already chose the murder route. NBA Youngboy would take to Instagram to send Rowdy Rebel a message saying, I see why people irrelevant today be trying to make all the sense, thinking what they saying real, but sounding stupid as f just mind your business and stop the violence. This led to Bobby Shmurda subliminally dissing young boy, saying that he's taking credit for what his homies did when he didn't do anything. Be jacking everybody other sh Where you, what you doing? What you doing, homie? Stop telling me about your brother's shooters and your brother's this. And you always with your brother that, that. What the f do you do? Huh? Then you're gonna finally do something. <laughs> Young boy got wind of this, so he hopped back on IG to respond to Bobby saying, Okay, Mr. Von Schmurda, you better stop the violence, boy. I thought you was a fan, and don't lie. Go make a hit. I just want to be friends. Well, talking violent, help me keep the peace? Or just stay far away, slave. Bobby would then hop on IG to respond when he threatened Youngboy, saying he's gonna boom him on camera, and said that he isn't even talking about him to begin with. Hey, somebody tell this little look, I don't know this, and I don't do all this internet shit, but I'm a crazy old man, so somebody tell this little this. I wasn't even talking about him, you understand? I wasn't even talking about you, you understand, little nigga? But what you do is that y'all get on this internet, y'all make these internet niggas, you see social media niggas who's running y'all internet and running y'all labels or little word um, um white nerd niggas that spend money on pussy in the club and then academics and all y'all playing with y'all little niggas life y'all playing with real niggas you understand what i'm saying you hear me little nigga? all right cool because i'm two and old for the year already on parole nigga million dollars up nigga. two and old for the year already stop fucking playing me anyway long story short i was even talking about you little nigga, but you, you got yourself some shit you know what I'm saying? You got yourself some shit. I make my money anyways. I make a hundred grand a week. I still do this. You know what I'm saying? Still do this while I'm being black balls. I don't give a fuck about no views. I'm not a little kid like none of y'all niggas. I'm 28 years old. I'm a grown ass man. I'm in here for money. But when I catch y'all little niggas, or DJ Academic, everybody, bro, any nigga I catch like whack, any y'all niggas that record this, I'm going to boom them on camera. On camera, live. On parole, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to boom one of y'all niggas on camera. On show on my dead grandmother, nigga. What's wrong with y'all niggas? Next nigga called my name and niggas who called my name already. Hey, whack. Oh, yeah, niggas, when I catch y'all, my dead grandma's up gonna boom y'all. On camera. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? So y'all let these niggas who put all these shits out, these memes and all this shit about y'all, y'all ask questions first like a grown man to say, did bro talk about me? Because I call names. I'm gonna call your name. Like, I I'm gonna shoot you. When I catch you, I'm gonna shoot you. Like, whack. When I catch him, I'm gonna boom him. What about dead grandma? Though? When I catch him, no way I can see him ever in my, L in my face. So when y'all call my name, make sure y'all know this. This is why I smile like this. And I walk around with a million dollars of jewelry. With, with uh, you know me. Ah, you know what I'm saying? 2 for the year. Baby, on parole. Million dollars ran up. Ah, you understand? I don't do this for no Instagram. I do this because I get money. I'm, I'm independent, stupid. I make 10,000 per song a month. Residual. Who needs real estate? What the f*** you talking about? And I'm about to go in the room. But cool. All right, I said, I mean, shit, cool. All right, I said that. Young boy responded with the video himself, but this wasn't what we're used to from YB. He just laughed the situation off, not taking Bobby seriously, and says that he just wants to be friends. And he also responds to Rowdy Rebel, calling him a perm-headed bitch. Damn, was crazy. I ain't even say this perm-having bitch name. Nigga just want to bring the top up. Say, bro. Man, you niggas irrelevant, and I said what I said, bro. You niggas need a nigga like me to keep you going. I ain't doing no falling around this bitch, nigga. This flunk ass nigga want another nigga to jump out the truck and punk fake and then get shot in his face? Man, you sound stupid as the fuck, man. You niggas dumb, man. Say, bro, I don't want no problem with you niggas, man. Stay the fuck out of my way or get done, man. Stop the violence like I said, man. Then you 
picked out behind a nigga. You don't even know. Bitch, you ain't even take no flower to this man's grave. I guarantee you ain't take not one flower to this man's grave. And you picked out like that, man. I ain't even got nothing to do with the situation, man. Stop playing with me, son. I don't want no problem with you. Your views should go up now. Clown. I'm willing to help y'all niggas. Anybody, man. But a nigga hate NBA so much, man. Boy, you lucky I can't talk out when I talk, boy. Man, when the last time this nigga ever did a show? Oh, 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 he did a show since he came home. And he around here entertaining mm. shit in his mortal life? I don't think Drew Bill got a new Man, don't you know you could have a brother walking around your house, nigga? And you entertaining, boy. Then they say, what have I done? Man, you know what? Um, boy, say, bro, them people, hey, that's down bad. Them people lock your ass up, bro, at the height of your career, son. That's fucked up, son. You a lost soul. You don't even know how to rap no more, son. That nigga say, what have I done? Man, you gotta look up the top, man. You tripping, fool. Man, go get him some views, man. Help this nigga get some views, man. I guarantee, I'm going to label ready to drop your bum ass, man. I'll pay you to help me stop the violence, nigga. No, Bobo, that bitch kill me now, Bobo. That bitch gonna kill me now, no. <laughs> say, bro, say, bro, look, check this out. Look, my guy, man, hey, I, you ain't got a word. I'm trying to harm you, son, and you ain't gonna touch me. I got security, man, I'm paid, son. I'm gonna stay the fuck out your way, nigga, and hope you don't get too close. Man, these niggas crazy, they don't wanna kill the slam, no. <laughs> Man, you should've just mind. Business, man, you tripping. Man, that nigga won't kill me, man. I ain't even got that type of tick in my heart, man. You tripping, man. Oh, bro, them people let that. Hey, man, say that boy came home and them people ain't get that no money, man. That nigga ready to kill a nigga and go back to jail. This nigga don't get not one fuck, son. That's fucked up, man. Say, bro, let's be friends, man. I'll show you how to ball, man. You tripping, man. Oh, bro, I'm stiff on them bitches, son. Hey, tell them 10 million ain't enough. Tell them 20 million ain't enough. Tell them 30 and 40 million ain't enough, man. Yeah, I'm man. stiff on them bitches. I made them bitches pay me, bro. I can show you how to make them pay <laughs> Say, bro. Say, I know how to fight good, bro. And if I lose, I know how to take my ass whoop and say, bro. I don't want to do none of that. And I'm not against you, bro. What is wrong with you, son? I see you doped up on camera. I used to be doped up, too, son. I know how that shit. Feel, man. Let's man, just be my friend, man. You tripping, bro. Stop the violence and I'll pay you to help me, bro. I'm dead serious, son. Man, I'm real life serious, bro. This nigga crazy, son. You understand? I hope you don't think I'm scared. I gotta. This nigga crazy, man. Hey, man, say, bro. <laughs> don't ever let no another man get you mad, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and deactivate my because I think I reached seven days. Yeah, man. I'm, like, I'm going to let these posts see here for a minute. I'm going to deactivate my shit. Yeah, man, that bitch want to kill us. <laughs> that bitch want to kill me now. <laughs> no. <laughs> that bitch say I'm a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, I like, hey. I like your lingo, son. I fuck with that boy. No, bro. Nah, bro. Hey, man, cause them people, man, them people lock our ass up like slaves, bro. Man, this, man, you done did all that time, bro, and ain't, 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 ain't got no type of growth with yourself, bro. Man, that shit bored at me, son, man. I, man, I really wanna help, son. Man, that shit fucked up, man. That nigga say he gonna bomb on me, bo bo. For what? <laughs> Crazy, man. Man, God help this child, man. God help this child, bro, because you know you gotta keep a hand on the slime. Man, this nigga crazy. He gotta be hurting or something, bro. Man, that nigga, I'm talking about that boy jump straight. You're lost right now, That nigga scared me, son. Man, man. You gotta die, son. I can help you find yourself, man. You I'm telling you, stop the violence. That nigga, he gonna in front of Echo. What the fuck? Then it's got to do with something. I don't even think he'll like for to see that shit. Man, this nigga crazy. Oh, this nigga.
messing with the world going, hey, I was blind, I was blind at first, bitch. And now I see. Man, this shit's scary, bro. And I just started a whole new challenge, man. That boy said, I'm going to I gotta get a motherfucking bump, my man. Trying to bump me. What the fuck? And to the rest of y'all that don't want to be my friend, man, I'm just gonna laugh at your ass and jokes off you, bro. But I love the irrelevant. And you ain't gonna touch me. After this, Bobby Shmurda allegedly got a call from his parole officer, so he hopped back on IG to say that the threats weren't serious, and he also called out Youngboy further, accusing him of botting his YouTube numbers. No problems. Atlantic Records, I know y'all got NBA Youngboy. Listen, Epic already on my eyes. Rock Nation, listen, please. Atlantic Records, I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems. Y'all niggas already got my fucking YouTube hack down. Got the mother. SoundCloud everywhere, you can't even type in Bobby Schmurda, my shit pop up. Only hot nigga because Epic owned it. Listen, I don't want no problems with y'all. I'm making my, you know, I'm making over two hundred thousand a month, independent. I don't want no problems, cause I just came out of prison. I remember making only five thousand a week, um, seven ten thousand a week on the block. I'm good. I'm making, please, I don't want no trouble. I want parole. I got my parole call and shit. I did not do nothing to two people. I did nothing to nobody. I don't want no problems. I'm twenty eight years old. I'm only 28. I got two years left to my 30s. Please leave me alone. I don't want no problems. I'm slinging big bitch. I was I still do wait. Please, I want no problems. <laughs> yeah, so funny. It's okay. My mama told me I was the bad kid, okay? They told me everybody always going against me. It's okay. I ain't used to fighting everybody. Come on, let's fight. Wanna fight? Let's fight. <laughs> I can't take y'all niggas serious, so for real, so what the fuck? Youngboy responded by posting DMs between him and Bobby, where Youngboy said he wanted a million dollars to clear his last song with the caption, Blocked before you can even say another word. I just want you to win, crazy man, at It's Bobby Shmurda. Everybody go follow, bro. Hashtag, stop the violence. Bobby clapped back, saying, Nah, you the feds. how this get out? I don't want to hear nothing else. I'm sorry to all the gangsters for entertaining this. I did bad. I apologize like a man. Please, I don't want beef with nobody. On December 16th, 2022, Bobby Schmurda would appear on the My Expert Opinion podcast himself. When he brought up the situation with Youngboy, he tried to clear the air and dead the beef. Bobby tried explaining that what Rowdy Rebel said was taken out of context and that he didn't mean it like that. If his if his statement was you didn't have to kill, you know, listen, listen. You can't, How can that listen, be seen as a negative? You can't, you can't say that. You can't listen. It's, that's a double. What's it called? Trauma. Double entendre. We don't know because we not in that situation. We don't know who. We can't talk on that situation. Period. I just wish everybody the best. They got to deal with their situation. That's grown man. You know why I say that? Because you can't talk on that situation. Meaning you, you, any, any side, any side is right, bro. You can't. Sometimes misunderstandings happen. It's just just like that. Misunderstandings happen is just like that. Rowdy Rebel would then give his take on this when he would post to IG saying, I said what I said. So Rowdy was standing on his statements made towards Lil Tim. After this, rumors started circulating that Bobby and Rowdy Rebel had beef, but Rowdy would clear this when he said, I can never beef with my brother Bobby. He freed me from a whole bid, but you other dudes heard what I said. So Rowdy was once again letting YB and his camp know that he's not going to retract his statements. Quando Rondo would send subliminal shots when he posted a photo in Times Square of a billboard of him and Youngboy's project when he put Bobby Shmurda's hit song Hot Boy on the story. After this, everyone seemingly moved forward from the beef and no words were said afterwards. Drewski is known as a comedian who became widely popular over social media, but would it shock you if I told you NBA Youngboy and Drewski actually had a little beef? Drewski, being a comedian, always clowns other rappers, but he went a little too far when he tried doing that to Youngboy. It all started on October 4th, 2022, when the Never Broke Again IG account posted a video of YB and his wife, Jazlyn. Drewski took to the comments and wrote, Bitch look like me. Someone from Youngboy's camp replied to that comment saying, At Drewski, this is why y'all dudes be dying. There was speculation that NBA Ben 10 is actually the one who wrote the comment, 
but it could also just be a cover-up for Youngboy, who at the time was on house arrest, so they probably didn't want to raise any eyebrows. Drewski would then go live on IG, where NBA Youngboy would actually join the live to squash whatever beef was going on, and they chopped it up for a couple of minutes. Aiden Ross is a famous streamer who was also involved in the world of hip-hop when he began having rappers pull up to chill on his stream. NBA Youngboy and Aiden Ross actually had brief issues that took to wax. Let me explain. It all started in late 2021. Aiden Ross was dating a TikTok star named Pammy Baby. On December 13th, 2021, Aiden Ross was live reacting to his Discord when a fan sent a screenshot of Aiden's girlfriend's recent Instagram post and claimed that Youngboy actually liked the post from his burner account. Youngboy's burner liked the picture? That's not real, right? Ain't no way that's real. didn't pop up when I searched the, the, uh, the likes. But like, I don't think, I don't think this is just, this is not, this is not real though. A couple days later, on December 16th, 2021, Aiden would go live on IG with Youngboy's baby mama, Jania, as revenge towards Youngboy. Youngboy got wind of this, so the next day, Youngboy previewed a new song that was set to be on his upcoming project, Colors, and on the snippet, he dissed Aiden Ross, telling him to stop playing, and then he has no social media to even like his girl's post. Aiden would then post a tweet saying, Ah, oh, hell nah. Just woke up and young boy for real diss me, talking about gun is laying with me, which is a gun. Well, I guess it's time to sue. I'm obviously trolling with the sue sh**. If you watch my streams, you'd know that this ain't beef, so stop dragging it. I am not on any gang shit. I do not have 40s, gunners, any sort of type of weapon machinery. I am a young, handsome streamer who sits at home all day. He would then post on IG, and on the caption, he sent out an apology to YB saying, Hello Kentrell, aka NBA Youngboy. I'm sorry for playing with your top, slime. As you can see, I'm 4KT. Look at my hair. After that, Youngboy officially released the song when he dropped his mixtape colors on January 21st, 2022, but the beef blew over eventually. According to YNW Sack Chaser via IG Live, him, Melly, and YNW Juvie were in the lobby of the Atlantic Records headquarters when NBA Youngboy was pissed off, so he came into the building mean mugging the YNW crew. So Sack Chaser asked YB if he was straight, in which Youngboy said that he's straight but he continued mean mugging them. When Quando Rondo and other members of Youngboy's entourage approached them, Sack Chaser once again asked if he was straight, and this is when Youngboy allegedly threw some punches at YNW Melly, allegedly knocking him to the floor, and this is when a big brawl broke out between the YNW crew and the NBA crew. Um, we put up at Atlantic. Youngboy already outside looking like this. So like, Melly like, they go Youngboy. I said, oh, shit. Yeah, we might not have fade in it. So then we walk in, it's like a gate. He came out, but when I came up, he went back in. But then nigga, nigga started like, look crazy still. Like, I f with a nigga, but I ain't friendly. Like, I ain't finna look scary and say what's up to you. So I asked the nigga, you straight? Me and Juve was like, you straight? Then he was like, y'all straight. What you mean, y'all straight? Then he, he looked, he kept looking. And then I said, nigga, you straight again? And like I said, asking you straight again? And then I got down. His homeboys came creep toeing like a damn penguin and shit. And then they got down asking, to, they were just talking. I figured they just wanted really want us to pop off so they could shoot or something, whatever. But they were just in our face talking. And then, same thing, Melly looking at the young boy in the eyes, and he was like, doing the eye shit. And they came up, 
We inside the building. See, both fights was inside the building. That's why nobody ended up. Like, um, like both fights inside the building. You know what I'm saying? We went outside and then, or like, maybe Walmart and inside the record label. Inside it. So, like, got down. Young boy, like, he talking to them Eli dude. He like, bro, fuck all that, man. I'm finna just pop off. So then he popped off. He hit Melly. Boom. But it's some weak shit, like. You would think the nigga strong, but the nigga, like, body, like, dead. He hit his ass. Boom. So, like, Melly, when he hit him, Melly hit him two times. Boom, boom. And that's when I popped off on him. Popped off on him, young boy. And then his nigga came after me. And they started boom, 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 boom. Melly hit on the ground. He fell on the ground because they had, like, bulldozers I had in. It's more, it was like five of them. So then, <laughs> and then got down, Riri had jumped on Melly. So I got down, got behind both of their ass. Like, I'm a, they both behind me. And, like, I let them boys take off on me for, like, three seconds. So then I just said, fuck it. They already hit me. I just start, bop, 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 swing back at their ass. That shit started getting cleared up. So then they had ran, like, the dude broke it up. They ran out the room. Then they came back in that bitch. Quando Rondo came in that bitch that time. Yeah, started jumping. Boom, 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 boom. Caught Quando Rondo ass in the forehead. Boom. He caught my ass back in the forehead. It jumped up in the sky. Jumped on my mother's chest. Nigga ran out. Niggas always running, though. Everybody always run from my ass. It ran out. Mm. So then young boy tried to jump. Come hit my ass, too, with Melly caught his ass. Boom. Hit his ass and shit. Boom. And it was just over with. And they just left. Got down, sent the chain back. Soon we came back to Florida. Boom. That shit did. We ain't go to the internet, they ain't go to the internet. That shit did. You just like this. Love him. Shit, nah, nah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, nah. Ain't shit probably. Now it is unclear as to why this fight broke out exactly, but Youngboy actually spoke about it when an NBA Youngboy fan page posted a photo on IG saying that Youngboy beat up YNW Melly, in which Youngboy commented on the post on his manager's account saying, I lost the fight before too. It's life. He'll get me next time, Dash Cantrell. And that is all that happened between NBA Youngboy and YNW Melly, just an altercation at the Atlantic Records headquarters. There you have it, the enemies of NBA Youngboy. Before we end this video, I want to give a shout out to all my patrons, Adam Miles, Hakeem Olajuwon, Jody Bird, 100 LaFlair, Wavy Prince, Sean Rosenberg, Nicole Rose, and Jeremy Moore. I appreciate all you guys on Patreon. If you want to watch the uncut and uncensored version of this video, make sure you guys check out my Patreon. I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks for watching.